Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. So. Oops. I'm done. We're kind of at an interesting point in the playthrough, as I learned a couple of things playing around with the game. So, long story short, I could definitely beat the game as is. I don't need to buy any more items. I don't have to do anything else with the nurse. So, I have no doubts that this run is doable. What I don't think is doable, unless I make an adjustment, is Etna mode. So, as I found out the hard way, um... Laharl's gear doesn't transfer over back into the inventory. So, I have to be able to beat the final stage as somebody other than Laharl. So, hmm. <laughs> not normally a not normally a problem when you play through Disgaea. Also, I learned that that since this is based off the PSP version, because I saw that in the credits the last time we played, there are ways to target other units. And I just had to look up the PSP controls because I again I don't own a PSP, so I was like, oh, whatever. Oh, uh, poor poor uh, stream elements is still not quite fixed. One day, chat. One day it'll recognize it again. Hopefully you're doing well in Parameter. So I'm going to say, with chat's permission, I'm going to go... We're going to go challenge adjacent. Yeah, Stream Elements hasn't been detecting people for a while. I don't know what its problem is. But welcome, Kirk. So we're going to go challenge adjacent. What I mean by that is, I'm going to do something that has no impact on the rest of the run. Until later. Because I need to give XP to somebody else. But in order to do that, I need to make another character. And because unfortunately, I have already planned out literally how I'm going to do every other stage. Unfortunately, the very next stage is the stage that I need to do something on. So I have no wiggle room coming into the session. So with your permission, chat, I'm going to go to exam promotion fight one battle on two different people and then we'll continue with the playthrough and actually it's kind of funny that we talk about this kirk is that we're gonna end up making you you're long overdue <laughs> i actually need to make kirk the impaler <laughs> it has to happen or else uh etna mode is going to be very awkward so we're gonna go ahead and do that let's go ahead and play the game yeah, so we're we're gonna do it. It it should cost me like nothing. I I think promotion exams are mostly exempt. I think from the run because I, otherwise it's like uh, I don't technically need it to beat the first one, but if I want to do that and also still efficiently beat Etna mode, I'm gonna have to do a promotion exam at least one more time. So I think that's fair. Plus, at some point I have to show off transmogrify anyway, and actually choose a different class or something. Let me, uh, do this. But yeah, the, the levels gained here are actually going to make the ch the run more hard. <laughs> if anything, I'm making the run more hard because I'm not only using Lahoral now. Without repeating any other maps. So, I have to think about it. I ended at around 102 with Lahoral without combining anybody between now and the end of the game. Or maybe I did one or two minor combines. But yeah, um... Hmm... We're gonna have to train a brand new warrior. Well, fortunately, I've been bravehearting it up. So I knew at some point I might have to braveheart multiple characters. I was thinking that was going to be Etna mode, but uh, oops. <laughs> yeah, we got we gotta prepare a little earlier than that, apparently. Let us go into full screen. So yeah, I, I basically disconnected from Steam because I didn't want it to update my achievements or anything. Um, I took it offline and I played around with it for a little bit. But we're back here. So yeah, I think I gained somewhere between 15 and 18 levels between the next couple chapters. Some of that being, I think, merges. Well, anyway, let's go make the game harder. <laughs> since, since apparently that wasn't hard enough for me. So we're going to course correct the stage before I need to do something. So, ultimately, what has to happen in order for me to progress the run, I need one other mage to be level 12. That's it. And this upcoming stage guarantees it. But, this is also my opportunity to level other people if I need to do so. 
So actually, what I'm going to end up doing, and it's going to look very goofy, but I'm just going to do it now because it's funny. I'm going to unequip everything we have here on Laharl. We're actually going to go ahead and give Rogue Nine some of these upgrades. In fact, I might even just leave it with Fist. I don't think this really matters. There we go. He's exactly one. So we're going to have under Rogue Nine a guest cameo from Kirk. There we go. We're bringing it back to all the chat characters. So, like, technically I can create a character, but I don't have any mana because I didn't realize... One, Laharl equipment didn't carry over. And two, I would have to be able to potentially beat the game without using Laharl. Which is definitely going to be very interesting, because that was not my original intent with the run. So what we're going to do, we're going to promotion exam. And all I need to do is actually just clear one promotion exam. I don't think they could kill him. There we go. Rogue Nine's level ups actually matter. Because now he can tank hits without caring. See, if he was level 1, this might have actually killed him. But now that he's levels, doesn't matter. Rogue Nine will be our backup melee character, I think, for the run. So that's fine. So what we're gonna do... We're immediately gonna go to Rogue Nine. We're gonna create a character. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Oh, I went the wrong way. So I could grind it out to 200, but I think I'm going to deal with that in Etna mode. For now, I'm just going to put in Confident. Alright, it's Kirk time. I don't think I could fit the Impaler. I'm just double-checking. It's like so close. I'll just put Kirk. So yeah, we'll give you a small status bonus. I need to remake your character at some point in Edna mode, but right now it doesn't matter. And technically I could choose whether I want to do that or Rogue Nine's upgrade. So the reason why, this character is an A rank in sword and I need another sword user. It's just that, it's that simple. Um, the other thing I need to do I will probably do it for in Parameter. Yeah, in Parameter stats are pretty insane. Let's make some characters under in Parameter real quick. Actually, I could do one under Chris as well. You know what? Both of you could get a companion. Oh, wait, you have mana? Wait, what? Wait, I gotta kill with you at some point? I don't even remember that, but you know what? That saves me time. So you know what? That wouldn't even have avoided the run. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, if Chris and, and Parameter have it, then I don't need to do anything else. But anyway, I need some uh, other spell users. Um, sure. You know what? In honor, try Hecaton. Let's make this character try Hecaton. And int it up for sure. Yeah, they get really fast weapon growth and really high int. So that's done. Now the question is, does Chris' character have mana? He does not. Uh, I don't think this matters. So what I could have technically done to avoid this is I could have made uh, Gansel and Chris two different mages, and that would have avoided an issue. But that's fine. We live and learn in real time, chat. <laughs> this This run is just off the cuff. We, we only very vaguely go ahead of where we're supposed to go. Uh, I should be able to basically kill everything with Chris from here. So there we go. Chris is soloing. So basically, we'll have a lot of spare Braveheart characters. Not that it super matters. But if nothing else, I'm getting more magic usage. Oh yeah, I wanted to show something. So apparently you hold square, and you can rotate your character facing. But if I have more than one character, I can zip to them by holding square and R1. 
That was something that just used to be R2 on the PlayStation controller. But today, today slash yesterday, I learned. Anyway, Chris has now killed his character. So we're going to make the final character for the challenge. I basically just want to have one of all the elements. I want to show something off. So I need one of each. Uh... I'll call this character Frost. Alright, now we can resume our run, by the way. I, I needed to do this. <laughs> so now we have elemental coverage if I'm really desperate. Or Etna mode. I'm not sure how hard Etna mode is going to be, given that I've only played the PS2 version. I'm assuming this is all the setup that I need. Yeah, I don't really care about any of this. So Rogue Nine has now done this, I think. Yeah, I want Kirk near the bottom of the list. I want Ganzel kind of high up in the list. I could technically equip Frost and try Hecaton. But essentially what needs to happen at some point is that Kirk's character will have to put on equipment and actually get a kill. Which will be easier in about one more stage, but I have to get there. So I think what I'm going to do, because I want Kirk to level, I'm going to give him the monster belts. I could technically give him a spear for now, because it's not his worst weapon. But for now, let's go ahead and... Oh, oops. Uh, Rogue Nine has what I want. Make sure Rogue Nine has boots. There we go. And now let's continue with the run. So I'm like, oops, I could have done that by technically slipping a kill to another character. It would not have impacted the run in any major way. I mean, as you can see, I have 875,000 health. So basically, I'm going to get a free sword upgrade before the end of the game, right? So this sword will end up being what Kirk will need to use to kill at some point. The only other question is, do I want to buy a super staff? Because, like, right now we can only get, uh, 260 int weapons, according to this, unless I just low-rolled, which is not worth it. Yeah, like, this is too weak. We- we need to see some- we need to see some insano numbers, chat. <laughs> so, in theory, I could pass another stronger weapon bill. Hmm. I'll think about it. I think right now it doesn't matter due to how I'm going to play this next area, but whatever. We have detected giant objects in the stellar graveyard too. We're going to continue with the run, but this time making it harder. I feel a great power. Prince, be careful. There's no power greater than mine. Just relax and wait for my return. So yeah, you'll understand when we come here why I wanted to do this. Oh no, chat. Muffled breathing. Soldiers of the EDF! I told you, Jennifer! Just like I said! Dot dot dot. Hmm. I've never seen so many humans all at once. So, what'd they come all the way here for? Aren't they here to rescue Mr. Gordon? Don't you think they're acting kind of strange, though? What's wrong? Your beloved hero is right here! <laughs> hey! Guys! It's me, Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth! Not very popular, are you? Poor Mr. Gordon! D don't be silly! I'm the Defender of Earth! All the kids love me! Yeah, for clarity, what I would have done differently is when we were, I think, three stages ago, we fought enemies that were, like, of 6, 12, 18, 24, 32s. I could have killed some of those level 6s with just any of the other characters. Which I was curious how I could have corrected the run earlier. Which I don't think I would have needed to do had I realized Laharl does not automatically put his equipment back into the other uh, bank. Which is kind of dumb. I'm going to be real with you, chat. I don't like that. So yeah, we gotta we got to figure it out for Laharl. The puzzle of can I do enough damage? I had my own comic series in Saturday morning cartoon. 
Oh no, not his own comic series chat. But they don't seem all that impressed. Gordon, we've been used. Used? What do you mean, Jennifer? They asked us to defeat the Overlord, but their true purpose was to secure a route to the Netherworld. What are you saying, Jennifer? They are risking their lives to save us. How can you accuse them of... But, Gordon, can't you see? Enough of this. I don't want to hear it. I'm shocked and disappointed in you. I hereby dismiss you from your duties as my assistant. Oof. Hyphen, 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 exclamation marks. I see. I must have faith in the people of Earth. Unfaltering, unwavering faith. It's my duty as Defender of Earth. Right, guys? Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. You are to be terminated. What? Sucks to be you. All the kids love me, huh? Right. Poor Mr. Gordon. Die. Hey, wait! What are you doing? Okay. So... I actually have to reset. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, man. Well, actually, hold on. Wait, whoa, hold on. Do I have it wrong in the notes? Wait, I don't see the thing I'm looking for. Oh, maybe it's not this map. Oh, I have one more map. My bad, chat. For some... Oh, let me go correct my notes then. Give me one second. Wait, what stage is this then? Oh, it's the next stage. Oh, so I didn't need to do any of that. My bad, chat. So, there's a big chain geo stage where I need to level. I technically could have leveled on this stage. Whatever. So, one thing that makes these units kind of annoying, chat. Guns. Lots and lots of guns. Um... I could technically reset to get a different weapon, but that's fine. It would be better. Hmm. Love Kirk's damage. 295. How much would it take to kill these? But the defense is 342, which is kind of high. I think what I want to do is... Let's poke at these enemies. not doing like a crazy amount of damage. Uh... It's actually to the point I could probably combine them for a kill. Just thinking. Yeah, Kirk will die to any hit. He probably could injure them, sadly. Hmm. Just thinking about something. I almost want to experiment to see how much damage I do to them. But I want to kill a few of these first. So yeah, if I need to get experience, I can kill with anything else. The downside is these enemy types are kind of annoying to leave alone. I wish these guys were just melee versus gun. Also, if we needed to drain our health here, if we were looking for any nurse rewards, this would have been our last good opportunity. But I think I could do something like this. They are sadly resistant to fire, so they're kind of annoying to kill. But what I could do is... Let's test the waters. Okay. So 451 does about 100. So I could probably get Kirk to kill with a little more weakening. <laughs> Operation Feed Kirk a level. Because I also have Thursday to kill. Maybe this will work. 
question. Actually, other question. Since I'm now messing around a little bit, defeat a kill. Oh, see, it's only a 50% chance. Like, technically, if Kirk joins on this attack, he'll level up. But if I don't do it, I'm going to kill the other character nearly instantly. Yeah, it's kind of a question of how do I want to proceed. Hey, where did she move previously? Oh, she's over here. I was like, what the heck? I could leave her over here. I don't care if she dies. She's not relevant to the plan. <laughs> the NPC's here or whatever. So let me think. If I do something like... already injured. Hmm. I mean, I guess I'll go for it. As I said before, I don't really need the levels. The only other thing that I can maybe do is... Oh, I could just AoE buff. Oh, that's kind of funny. Maybe this will do what I want it to do. Huh. I mean, it's very dumb, but it is funny that I could do this. And then I could just have... I could try to risk the 50-50. Now, the other thing I want to confirm... Oh, that's not a thing in this version of the game. Okay. So, later to Skya, you could actually attack with towers. Okay, so I just confirmed you can't do that. Okay. Um... Try to 50? I'll, I'll play the 50-50. We did not get the 50-50. Unfortunate. Yeah, one thing also to note, chat, if you might have noticed, when I Bravehearted and then cancelled my motions, I still have Braveheart's attack power entering the base. So you can actually use that to cheese monster captures, in case you don't, don't know and feel like doing that on your own. So please, I recommend for people doing the monster capture, Please, Braveheart, and then put your actual best character in the base to get an easy kill. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... Kirk's now safe, he can't be targeted. I could just summon Flan just to heal. Oops, oh, that's easy. So I can get Kirk's attack power pretty high, which is kind of nice. And we need to level up our magic anyway, just in case. Also, that Braveheart area of effect is insane. So now Jennifer should have more stats. So she should do more. Kirk should be about the same level of attack power. So he's matching in power with somebody 30 levels higher, because you know that's fair. And then I can do... I basically just want to pull this character. I need a decoy. Oh, you're a good decoy. <laughs> All right, chat, there we go. Oh, and he even shot too. That's nice. You know what? That's actually a pretty good diagonal. I'll take that. So we need to weaken him a little more. He comes up like this. The Kirk should be at max power. She's now at max power. So I should be able to risk a punch here. Oh, it's so close. 
Because the downside is if Kirk hits and doesn't kill, it's over. Well, not like the run is over, but he's dead. That's more what I mean. I think I'm gonna lift six feet under on this one. So we're going to move Gordon back. I could do something like this. Just to try to guarantee a combo. Of course, does it combo with Kirk? Wow. Seriously? Come on, 60%. Man, we got cheated, chat. Check your head on that one. Actually, just straight up got cheated. RNG, please. Well, at least we have enough damage. I could also create a mage, I guess, for healing. Or a cleric, I mean. Not that I, like, super need it. But it could be nice. Yeah, Laharl taking damage here doesn't matter. We have healing items. Hmm. How much is this gonna do? Not that much. Only they weren't fire resistant. Probably the most annoying part. <laughs> right, chat? Like, we're so close. Uh, I just need, like, a little damage from somewhere. I could have Rogue Nine try to punch, but Rogue Nine will absolutely die. Try something like this. Maybe this will work. So Rogue Nine will combo with Kirk. The problem is Rogue Nine's damage is kind of mediocre. Mm. Man, trying to figure out how to get that last kill is very interesting. It is like a puzzle. I think we'll let Gordon die here. Move this character in as needed. We'll have another chance to level Kirk, but I would prefer he got a kill here if I'm able to. So she might kill with the crit. I hope she doesn't kill. Oh, I think that's as low as I could afford to take it. Come on, Kirk, it's done to you. No, he missed! No, Kirk! No! I got trolled! I got trolled! <laughs> that was so sad. I was so close. Holy, actually cheated. Chat, shake your head. Yeah, that was big oof. I get the kill with it. You know what, Imperameter? Save the day. Just kill this target. Thank you, Imperameter. <laughs> it, that XP will go to a good home that is not the protagonist. There's one enemy left. How annoying. That 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 whiff hurt, hurt my soul. <laughs> Just want you to know, chat. That whiff was painful. <laughs> See, that's where accuracy matters. Um, I'm not sure what to do. Because I don't think I could get... If Kirk can't hit this character, he's not going to hit anything else. I think I'll just end the area then. I tried. So close, yet so far. Hmm. Why would the EDF attack me? Duh, they stabbed you in the back. You're slow. Beep, beep, blip, beep. Captain Gordon, incoming message from General Carter. <laughs> ah, Gordon, I see that you're still alive. What? <laughs> With your help securing a route, we were able to make it here unchallenged. Now, the Netherworld will be ours. 
I thank you, defenders of Earth. <laughs> oh my god! We were being used? Um, are you just realizing that now? Aren't you happy, Flan? There's someone even dumber than you! Am. Yeah. Truth, though. <laughs> I knew of their plan all along. Liar! Gordon, you are a splendid pawn. I will tell the people of Earth that Captain Gordon died valiantly while fighting the Overlord. It's the least I can do for you. Well then, Gordon, so long. <laughs> hmm. There are some promising humans out there. I was thinking the same thing. Should we try to recruit him? Will you stop joking around? This is a serious matter! Dot dot dot. J Jennifer? She's probably hurt because you trusted them instead of her. Oh well, it's none of my business. Didn't you dismiss her just a minute ago, Gordon? Oh, Poor Miss Jennifer. Uh, J Jennifer, about that dismissal... It's okay, Gordon. I deserve to be dismissed. Jennifer. Thursday, not the one to blame. All Gordon's fault. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jennifer. Big oof on the enemies. That was so sad. The Kirk whiff, that hurt the soul. I had a feeling it would happen. I'm not entirely surprised. That's not- that's why I'm not calling it bad RNG. That's like, kind of expected. The problem is, do I just equip Kirk with a gun or something silly later? Hmm. Also, wait a minute. Wait, she's got a real weapon on. Can't- can't allow that. There we go, now I could go on Rogue 9. Rogue 9 is very likely to land a hit. 191, that's a lot of accuracy. Hmm. Don't think the rest of this matters. I'll give her a fist item still though, don't get me wrong. Now I'm just thinking, do I want to purchase anything to make sure Kirk can land a hit next time? Hmm. Oh. I don't think I have them unlocked. That's awkward. I could get eyeglasses, which improved, I think, in and hit at the same time. One more thing I want to check. Oh, so I do have better stabs. I just low rolled. Alright, uh, so at some point I'm going to be able to buy better stabs. So I could probably have, like, one real magic user. And probably a sword user. Then parameters probably going to be the person that ends up being our primary. Not that the other characters can't help. So we'll see where it goes. Like, I'm probably going to swap Chris into a different uh, mage class later to be more useful. Hmm. I guess I could, in theory, get rid of Feather Token from the Parameter. If I want to give it accuracy to other characters. Sadly, I didn't pick up any other glasses or anything interesting. Oh, he still has Imperial Seal? Oh. I might as well just take that off and give it to Kirk then. There's no downside to it. Look at that, he's at 18 hit. Ooh. Surely. Welcome, Rogue Nine. I was gonna say, Rogue Nine, you have been upgraded. You might be a backup character for Etna mode. Alright, chat, here's where we're gonna reset if we don't get something good. My bad, I had it wrong in my notes. This place, I think, is the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, this looks right. Long time no see, Gordon. Who's there? <laughs> Curtis? That's right. Curtis, defender of Earth. How cool! A rival has made his appearance. Look! Look! Yeah, yeah, calm down. My goal was to defeat you, Gordon, but it seems I've overestimated you. Huh? What do you mean? 
I assumed that you had completed your mission and defeated the Overlord. I came here to settle things with you. But look at the facts. You failed your mission, and even worse, you've become the Overlord's slave. I'm embarrassed to call you my rival. Oof. He's right. That is embarrassing. <clears throat> you don't have the right to call yourself Defender of Earth, nor the right to fight me. So long. Curtis, wait. You're right. I didn't complete my mission. And in your eyes, it may seem that my current predicament is rather pathetic. What's he talking about? It is pathetic. Shh. It's getting good. But, but I say, I have not lost my passion. I still have a hero's spirit. Words cannot describe this sensation. My soul burns brighter than ever before. And do you know why? Because the true enemy has appeared before my very eyes. Fine, then. If you insist, prove me wrong. <sighs> Muffled breathing, chat. I'll be waiting for you, Captain Gordon. Don't lose to these bunch of soldiers. Away he goes. So, this is the map I thought it was going in. So, oops twice today. So, you can see, chat, there's a little bit of a problem. I either walk in the silenced area or I die. <laughs> there's not really an in-between. How did I only get one XP up? I'm so disappointed in the game right now. We're quitting. I'm just quitting. <laughs> What's the chat? Listen, we needed to we needed to be a little more than one one XP up. I'm sorry. This is not like impossible. Do we saw the story? Can we get a better bonus? Not a single one of these is XP up, so I need to quit again. Unreal chat. <laughs> so we're gonna get up to, I believe, five bonus levels from when I played it before. So we have a pretty big leniency of getting two XP ups. The fact that we're only getting one to me is insane right now. Oh yeah, so I could get double elven staff and money. Sure, I guess. I think this is enough XP. So the way we could check to see if it's enough is we could see, for example, uh, Chris's character is level 12 at 3,500. Technically, that will give me enough, but I'd also like to boost uh, Kirk's character a bit higher. So technically, I could reset this if I really didn't want Elven Staff, but I think I value the XP up a little bit. I definitely don't just want a Fist item or whatever. So anyway, we need some Sacrificial Pawns, so I'm only going to be able to level a couple characters. So we're going to hopefully level Kirk, Try, Frost, and maybe Ganzel. Although technically I don't need to level Ganzel anymore. So we'll see. Uh, we need some people to die for us, so let's see. Who might actually survive the explosion? Gordon probably would. Jennifer probably would. After that, I think it's all Sacrificial Pawn territory chat. Like, Etna, yeah, you're good enough. So our goal, chat, just so that you're aware. Well, I can sit there quicker. I basically need to ensure that we turn all of the red green. I might even need to get another army over here. Hmm. It's basically if I can make this red, I can turn this green, and then everything becomes one color. I don't think there's another color to consider. So I could have two throwing teams to do this. We just need a team that is literally just gonna full run. I'd prefer not to kill Rogue Nine here. We can avoid it. I need one more thrower, I think. So I should have exactly four if I want to. Let's see if this works. If not, we'll also reset. Alright, so he's able to get into position. 
Now the question is, do I need another character here or not? So I could do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or I could oh, hold on. Yes, these characters are gonna die. Ooh, I'm not gonna have a lot of XP ups. Hmm. So to be no, I need another character. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna be like one pile short, I think, if I don't do this. Yeah, doing this is fine. And I could throw the protagonist whenever. I think I just need to make sure that this is thrown here. Then this should be good. I guess technically I didn't have to throw somebody from Laharl here. Probably could have reached it with Wind Slash. Or Wind Cutter, I mean. Yeah, so this will just barely reach, which is what I'm looking to do. And if I messed up, we'll find out the hard way. Ah! Say goodbye to most of the characters here. In hindsight, where Edna should be, I probably should have kept uh, Gordon, but whatever. We'll keep going. Poor Edna. So anyway, this is my last chance to kind of level some ult characters. You can see why I wanted to do it. Like the little explosions where the prisms were. See ya. So I technically unlocked up the Black Spear. Rest in peace, everybody else that's here. Oh, Gordon actually survived? Oh, he's gonna provoke a counter. Oh, he actually survived! Ooh! Oh, that was not in the cards. You know what? Let's have let's have a, let's have the hero go heal up, chat. He earned this flan. I am so surprised they didn't kill him there. That was not expected, but welcome, I will say. Well, if I keep him alive, that's one more character I could give XP. So he's gonna probably need to heal again. I prefer not to use all my super healing if I could avoid it. I think for now I'm gonna walk him in the corner in chocolate. As we try desperately to keep this character alive. Well, they actually attacked the protagonist? That was foolish. Right, chat? Actually, just foolish. Nice, gotta level up with Laharl. So I could combine those remaining characters if I want to. I'll think about it. But now... I'm able to put Gordon away and get another character with XP. So I'm gonna guarantee put somebody up to level 12 or so, if not level 16. Which is important for unlocking things, so let's go ahead and do that. I could get three characters, and one will be Kirk, one will be Try, one will be Frost, I guess. Make sure they get XP. Um, I'm gonna walk over here and see if they attack me. Oh, they won't. Interesting. Do I have an ability that could actually hit them? Hmm. 
so I... I think I can hit one of them. So 15 plus 24 is 39. So I can hit this one if I need to. I can also come to the other side and hit them, which I might need to do. Let's let them come to me. See if they... Let's see if they bite. Oh, just this one will. So if I'm here, it's only a distance of 21. Interesting. There's slightly not enough MP. Next turn I'll be able to do something. There we go. Thank you, Meteor Impact. This is also why Laharl is useful, chat. Sometimes the enemy is just in a very annoying place. Speaking of which, how do I hit this last one? So the difference between these two is 27. Hmm. How do I get that last little bit of height is the question. I guess I could try to throw myself up there. Or, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, I think this will reach. Yeah, oh, just barely not. But maybe Overlord Wrap works. 18 to 13? Yeah, that'll work. We'll take that. So I got two staffs for the new mages, and I got bonus XP. Let's see what level they are now, chat, by the way. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> right, chat, just instantly 15. Yeah, that, that seems fair. How is this a downgrade to what I had earlier? What? Excuse me? Uh... Wait, these are actually really good. Wait, what? How are these upgrades for Imperameter? You know what? Sure, Imperameter has now gotten an upgrade for free. Why not? And Chris also could get an upgrade. There we go. If I really need them, we got them now. Somehow this Black Spear wasn't an upgrade, question mark. Lots of question marks. Alright, so now I think we're basically set up for Etna mode. Now if we take a look at their abilities. I now have wind, I have ice, we have fire. I'm gonna briefly take a look at this. I went the wrong way. I like how we unlocked up to ghost, by the way, the wraith here. Yeah, so now we could do the star skull. Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. So somebody might be able to reincarnate into Star Skull. That'll be kind of fun. So basically, once, uh, presumably Chris or Imperameter will just instantly go to Star Skull, and then whoever then waits longer will end up as the, what is it, Prism Skull? There's one that gets all the elements, and that will let us cheese the rest of the game, I think. <laughs> like, we'll, we'll get through. So anyway, and because of the double level up, I think I needed to be exactly 15 for that to happen. I don't think that would have worked if I was 12. So the double XP was needed for that for the future. Not technically needed to advance further, but we'll do what we need to do. Laharl got some levels. Rogue 9 is okay. Imagine if you could equip weapons for extra stats. To solve so many problems. Um, I'm gonna save before I do something here. I thought about waiting on this, but I could do it now. There's really no downside. Also, one downside, if I go to do the uh, New Game Plus, I'm gonna lose out on all the mana that's on Maharl, so rip all this mana. So I think I'm gonna add Eyewear while I'm here. Yeah. I was gonna say, you better pass. You don't, don't you dare make me reset, right, chat? Don't you dare. <laughs> I was like, please. I did a safety save, just in case. And the other one that I want to unlock is... Honestly, I don't even want shoe inventory. I don't think that matters. Maybe more expensive stuff. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. This will let me get potentially some better purchases. Yeah, see how we can now buy 6,300 weapons? I could get a super staff here, potentially, if we roll well. It's not a bad idea. We're gonna get a sword hand-me-down, so I'm not worried about that. We could also get a fist upgrade. I could buy Mirage, for example. The attack power right now is just kind of mediocre. It might actually be more worth it for me to get the accessories. One second as I rebuy chocolate and plan. 404 hint, 109. Hmm. I, was say, I think we could do better. I mean, I can make it so that Kirk never misses ever again, but... You know what? For how little that costs, I might actually purchase that. Like, unironically, I'm like, wait. Yeah, that's a lot of accuracy for Kirk's character. I could just put one of the seals on, I don't know, Frost, I guess. I don't think anybody else really needs it. <laughs> Technically, I can have Kirk use a gun, but eventually he's going to switch over to the other sword. So he's going to use the this weapon that we currently have in about one chapter, I think. Maybe two chapters. Okay. So from this point onwards, it's just kind of whatever. I don't think anything else requires any kind of strategy other than just kill boss, continue story. The only other thing I'm thinking about is... Ah, it should be fun. So there should be a boss fight, if my notes are correct from earlier. Dance for me, you foolish humans! You'll save me the trouble of dealing with both Flan and the Overworld. Overlord, excuse me. Huh. Ingenious, if I do say so myself. All that remains is that spineless Seraph. Once I get rid of him, I will be the one and only. Humans, demons, angels, I will be the god of all! He's having his little power trip chat. I'll buy six dot dot dots into double exclamation mark. What's wrong? You're acting weird. Felt an evil presence. Was it General Carter? Or maybe Curtis? No, it wasn't human. Something more terrifying. It's hard to believe there's something more evil than me. I'm sure you're not imagining things. Maybe it's just me. It's four enemies. Oh, 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 sorry, I looked at... So That time it was my notes fault, I looked ahead. So, for this one, I don't really need to worry too much. So, like... Basically, I can be invincible. So this is not a bad time to get some skill-ups. But essentially, I need to lure them into the enemy boost. So I think we're just going to go ahead and do that. I could do something like... <laughs> I could just disrespect them by doing this to save us a little bit of time. But let's do that to save a little bit of time, chat. Hmm. Sadly, can't get by them. might be a job for Rogue Nine. Yeah, there we go. But now I can have the Prince attack from here. Yeah, there we go. Look at that, chat. Proper planning and strategy. Um, sure, we'll use Imperimeter. So they can't die right away. I take 20% damage, but like, if my health total is only 100, I think that means I have a while, right, chat? Like, just something tells me. Just a little, little inkling that I might be able to be fine for a bit. 
Gansel sadly did not level. That's fine. We could do stuff like this in the meantime. We're going to do our best to try to level Kirk a little more. Oh, look at that. I can learn Ice if I want to. I could target my own allies here just to learn spells. The important thing is most of our magic casting classes are at least at three proficiency. Frost needs help. He doesn't need help. Parameter's almost at five. I think he's the most well-versed in magic. So that's why he'll probably lead the charge. So basically, because I can't die here, I could just throw them repeatedly into damage. Which means as long as I don't provoke a counterattack war, I can have Kirk kind of poke in and then poke out as needed. Is that all of them, by the way? Oh, there's like a couple back there. Okay. Always forgot if they, they came over here. Uh, let's see. We'll do something like this. Something like this. I was gonna say, if any of them survived that, I would have just given it to Kirk. In the meantime, we can just pump up. Um, and the best part is I could still heal, because I have Flan with us. I guess I could have created another Cleric, but that's fine. So I could buy my own turns if I need to with Flan, and I should probably wait as long as possible to use her. If anybody else that needs magic up, maybe we'll have a uh, Braveheart usage on this character. Ooh, we could start magic upping uh, in Parameter. That'll be kind of gross. Like, I know this whole- Oh, hey, look, they're not resistant to me for once. Uh-oh, chat, they might be in danger. Oh, look at that 70% fire resistance. What's this be? <laughs> oh, there we go. There is Imperimeter's victims in the distance. All right, now they're starting to come towards us. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna have Rogue 9, I think, throw a couple. Do something like this just to get distance. I think only this one is targetable. Oh, there's one other. There's. Alright, let's do this then. Oh, thank you for resubscribing. Hopefully you're doing well, Calvisha. Oops, it did not like me tabbing out. My bad. Okay, let's do Hurricane Slash. This is gonna be a little annoying, so I think I should probably move Flan in a little bit. She's invincible. Have the other characters come over here. They don't take damage. And also just Brave Heart or Magic Boost our own people right now. We're getting a lot of the magic proficiency that we need for later. I think Kirk is now at max damage, so I just need him to land a hit, basically. Sadly, though, he's C rank in Sphere. But we could still technically do it. Oh, I should have ended in green. That's fine. See, I can save all of these characters. We're gonna go ahead and kill them real quick. Uh, if they want to walk towards Laharl, by all means. Hmm. Frost might die if I don't heal him. Kirk will die if I don't heal him. Hmm. 
Let's get into range for healing. I don't think I get bonus XP, right? I do not. So basically, I just gave myself five turns. <laughs> That's how I view that. And now I could potentially whittle on one of these enemies. What I could do is something like... This? Alright, so Kirk is capable of damaging the enemy, which is interesting. Let's get magic boost on people. There we go. Everybody's improving. Rogue Nine might be in danger here. Funny enough, the more they make him attack, the better off I think we are. Because I don't think I need a kill, right? I just have to hit with it. So they're helping Rogue Nine actually gain weapon mastery, which is kind of useful. I might just trade blows here, I'm thinking about it. Or you know what I'll do? I'll walk him forward, and then I'll heal. Let's get into an attack war here. You go, Rogue Nine. Learn those abilities. This enemy is going to be very annoying to kill. You're weak to wind, huh? Let's see what damage we do right now. Neutral. Oh, he's strong against ice. Never mind. Let's do. So we have all these magic boosts, but how much do we actually do collectively? Let's bear witness, chat. Not bad damage, right, chat? Wait a minute. I think they, I think this team could actually do it. Because then I could have Rogue Nine interfere. I might need one more character, which I can get if I need them. Hmm. Interesting. If only I had another sword. I guess I could have bought another sword. On the plus side, Rogue Nine is getting pumped up. Should have one more heal left for Flan, right? Yeah, I have one more. So now I could choose to whittle them down further, but this time I have access to other characters if I need them. And because of the invincibility here, I'm actually fine for an extended period. I could do something like Mega Wind. Actually, what I could do is Magic Boost. Magic Boost. Alright, so now I think in Parameters, Magic Score is off the charts. Well, it's only Find 97 still, huh? Thought it would have been higher. Oh well. I think that means I could do something like this. Like a wind. Melee. Potentially get multi attacks in here. Mega fire. Mega fire? See if we can do it. There we go. We almost got a kill. They're getting there. Alright, so we're out of kill range, which is nice. And now all we gotta do is finish off the people over here. I could get rid of the uh, ally damage and switch it over. But I wanna just guarantee that kill for real. 
Also, that was not meant to be Blade Rush. That was supposed to be Hurricane Slash, but whatever. So, let's lure the other guy towards us, maybe. They will get this kill. It's going to take a little bit. Oh, he went to the invincibility space. What a jerk. I guess I could have Rogue Nine try to clean up the other area. These characters just need to last a few turns. It should not be that hard to do, honestly. And meanwhile, this guy is graciously allowing us to build meter for the future fights. We're just gonna dunk on him with all of our mages and then attack with Kurt. <sighs> he almost got it! It was so close! Oh, is he gonna die of poison damage? Wait, that's actually the worst case scenario. Can we please get this kill to somebody? I beg of you, please don't die to poison damage. You worked so hard. Oh, it's super ice resist, too. Hmm. Right, chat? This is annoying. Yeah, the ice resist. Is there anybody I could feed this kill to? That is so sad. Because he's going to die, I think, no matter what I do here. That is so sad. Oh, do I not have a mixed heal? She might die if I don't heal her. Hmm. I guess I purchased a couple of generic ones, but not the one I was looking for. Oh well. So sad. Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. All, all that effort. Oh, is Laharl gonna die? That would actually be a big problem. Oh, okay, he didn't die. Oh, but he didn't get the kill either. Uh, Emergency retreat, I guess. I mean, I could still kill that other guy. Don't get me wrong. It's just annoying if that happens. Oh, actually, I think this... You know what? Rogue Nine, I think, is going to eat the bullet on this one. Thank you, Rogue Nine. Oh, I died of poison damage. That's so sad. Um, we need her with some SP. I'm going to go ahead and just eat one of our crappy items. And I guess I could just magic boots. Everybody. So it should stack like Braveheart. Yeah, now we're at 772 in. Okay, there we go. Now we should be able to do some damage. So we just need somebody to lure the other character away. So I might have Gunna Bite it. Take the bullet on this one. Oh, he calmly walked up to us. How polite of him, I guess. So now we can't die. Um, I don't really care who gets the kill here, as long as one of these characters gets the kill. I think what I gotta do is actually start with ice, because it doesn't do any damage. Then I can do... Long range fire into long range fire into wind into maybe melee for the kill? Yeah, there we go. Kirk finally got it. <laughs> okay, that's that's a pretty significant level jump for us, I'm not gonna lie. That's good. <laughs> Teamwork chat. Speaking of teamwork. 
Rogue Nine saving the day. Loharl did not die. Perish. We got two armors. I guess if I just really want to be tanky, I could go do that. I was gonna say, do any of these actually have any other interesting stats on them? No, they don't. Unfortunate. Probably the most useless thing we could pick up. Unless I technically just want a really tanky ace character. I don't really. So yeah, that uh, extra 90 hit actually mattered. Because <laughs> now Kirk could actually land his blow. Alright, let's see. Uh, I could keep the legendary jacket for later, but I definitely don't need this. The other thing was just such a cheap pickup. There is no reason to not pick it. Like, 401 accuracy is a little excessive, but only spending 11,000 to get, like, something that actually assists me. Kinda nice. I think that's all I really need. I guess I could purchase one more heal just to be safe. sell the gun, because the gun is actually just useless. I'll save this if I, want to, if I want to do item diving later, or item gods, but I think I'll get a testament that's legendary, so I don't think it'll matter. Interestingly, we could purchase a good weapon now if I want to. Hmm. I'm on the fence chat. Who should get the weapon? I need to decide soon, though. But I'm not really seeing a weapon that is called out to me as, like, this is gonna change the run. Two marksman ups? Like, I don't really care about that. We'll proceed for now, I guess. Let's proceed to side real rip. Dot 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 chat. Jennifer has been really depressed lately. I wonder whose fault that is. Don't look at me like that. You should apologize. <laughs> yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Um, Jennifer? Well, you see? It's all my fault. What? I could have stopped them, but I didn't. I knew what was happening, but I kept denying it. If only... if only I was stronger. What do you mean, Jennifer? What are you talking about? Who's there? Well, I do do a mole, Murphy. Lord. I thought it completely masked my presence. I'll move. I'll move the image over briefly. Jack had witnessed his smug. There we go. He's so pleased, chat. Laharl's so short, I might as well leave chat on this side for a little bit. You do. Getting this close without me noticing. It's an honor to hear such praise from you. My purpose was to settle things with Gordon, but now you've caught my attention. <laughs> and what have you got in mind? <laughs> you ask the obvious. Mono a mano. We shall speak with our fists. There we go. Anyway, the boss is back here. Interestingly, he counts as a monster for some reason. Because he can equip Panda Claw. So technically, I could merge a lot of things into him and wreck him that way. Hmm. Nothing of interest on the lower skill, which is kind of unfortunate. Psychic Sword actually would have been a good pickup had that been lower. Hmm. You know what, Chan? I want to try something. Since those rewards were trash anyway. Give me one second. Mm. Let's see. To get to rank 9, I'd have to make a couple of big purchases. Why are these all in the wrong ones? Oh, if these were Gladiator, that would have been amazing. 
Uh, I'm looking for a, like a hundred thousand weapon with double gladiator. Ooh. Oh, just one gladiator. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Cause now I can get the better weapons going forward. All right, Kirk, Kirk now has a massive attack increase, by the way. Sure, we'll give her the spear or whatever. This should make life a bit easier. So technically, I don't need plastic nose anymore. The odds of me missing are kind of low. Downside, I do need to get money. So I might need to combine some people. Not the end of the world. I'm hoping for something better than 15,000 health. I mean, that's... Still better than 50,000 hell. I'll take it. Because that means I can level the ult. That means that potentially I could have Kirk steal some kills here. The, tr the question is, where else can I potentially get his weapon proficiency up higher? That's the real question. Alright, we're going to do the little trick I talked about earlier. So I'm going to just summon Laharl. Move him here. And then we're going to have our other characters perform some buffs. Try to get their magic proficiency up a little bit. On the plus side, I now have five... Skull users, so I could just go straight to Braveheart 5 if I want to. Speaking of which... Let's stand him like this. I never went back to base the SP restore. That's fine though, I should have enough for this. Alright, so Kirk will get some of the benefits. Laharl will be at max strength. All my magic users came proficiency basically went up. Because of this, I can leave Kirk safe for now. I mean, look at his 1100 ATP essentially in there, and Lahoral's gross amount of damage here. That means I will need to item up at some point. But speaking of which, since I forgot to item up, let's go ahead and do it with this character. That's okay. See, this is why we buy safety items. <laughs> Not necessarily that I'm in panic mode, but sometimes I'm just like, yeah, I think we could do better. That is a lot of enemies coming towards me. Hmm. We have to get Kirk with some proficiency somehow. The question is, how do we do it? I think for now, I kill whatever comes near me. And we have, su we have a couple levels to think about it. They're out of range, really. On the plus side, Laharl is just legit one-shotting everything. So yeah, we just need to get Kirk in range somehow. In the meantime, I can just buff their own ability to buff each other. She's out of magic. that up. And again, the higher this magic boost is, the easier it is for me to set up for Etna Vogue. So I think I just wait it out. I could have them throw, but I think I want them closer. Oh, the boss is coming. Rip Frost. He died a valiant death. Let's see. Can this team kill the other creature is the question. Control the fire, maybe? Yeah, we need a super sap at some point. I think our next... Now that I've basically ranked up the store, I think I'm, my next big purchase will be a staff, just to make sure we do some damage here. So we're going to go ahead and mega fire, mega fire. 
And even Mega... Uh, Mega Wind isn't worth it. We're almost at the point where we could stay out of their range altogether. Just due to our power differences. Let's see how much damage this ends up doing. So with just a couple magic boosts, we put them kind of low. Hmm. Is that good enough for Kirk, though? I wish he had an ability unlocked. What weapon do they have? A gun? Oh, he was just shy. Unfortunate. I went for it, Chad. I went for it. How sad. Anyway, time to go kill these enemies. Oh. D-pad, what? <laughs> like, D-pad, that's not what I was doing. Uh... Look at what these guys did. I could just get one more source of damage in here. I always thought- oh, can actually Rogue Nine get the kill? Maybe? It's all up to you, Rogue Nine. Yeah! There we go. Good job, Rogue Nine. <laughs> get that enemy away from our mages. Alright, Operation Protect Rogue Nine is now in effect. The MVP saved that for sure. All right, there we go. Throw Rogue Nine further away. Oh no, our disposable melee character died. Yeah, sorry, Kirk. We'll level you at some point. You with no weapon proficiencies is a bit rough. I guess I could have purchased a sword or something. While we had the invincibility tiles. Or whatever. Um... Okay, so I could combine the last couple of ones to give the Laharl. I don't think I have enough damage to get other kills with other characters right now. So what we're going to do is... Ooh. Is that a pair of Vita staff range? Oh, hello. That is a big range. Can I hit these enemies from here? Of course, they're all resistant to fire. Brutal. So sad, champ. I mean, he can almost use wind to hit other targets, but gotta learn the ability first. Let's do this. Uh, everybody's magic is at least pretty solid now. Yeah, we're missing, like, a super staff. That's basically what we're missing over here. I'm gonna put this character away. I'd like to have Gansel take the XP at some point. I don't think the other characters matter that much. Uh, we definitely need to move away from lining up with the other characters. So I'm gonna do something like this. Just to make sure I can't get hit. Oh, is the other guy have a gun? Oh, he's a gun. My bad. <laughs> I thought he had an axe. I got trolled. Um, hmm. Curtis is gonna leave me alone, which is kind of annoying. Let's combine these characters together for a bit. Oh, I can't. Oh, Tri can't go up the hill? Oh no, the boots have been betrayed. Hmm. Most I could do is come over here to try to live a bit longer. Then I could try to keep Laharl alive with this. See what happens. Hmm. Okay. 
<laughs> right, chat? That was interesting. Well, I mean, a parameter has a little bit of a chance here. But I need to stall them significantly. We're just doing solo damage. The other enemy doesn't worry me. It's the boss that worries me. Do I have another summon? I don't. It's gonna be so unfortunate. So we could put this guy really low. Sorry, Imperameter. I should have checked his range. Oh, wait. Wait, Imperameter, Imperameter going to troll this boss? Oh, he came back to me. Okay. Right, chat? Oh, the sleep status ailment. Oh, no, I gotta restart. I didn't know he could put me to sleep. Oh, game, you should really tell me these things. Well, I think that's GG. That is unfortunate, actually. That is so sad. I didn't know he had the sleep status ailment. Unless I wear off of it right now, it's over. Yeah, it's over. I know, that's so yeah. annoying. Oh, that's so cheesy. I'm so sad, chat. If that had been anything other than sleep, we would have won. It would have been fine. <laughs> so annoying. Speaking of which, let me use the uh, in this time. Oh. I actually did enough to get a prize. Ing orb. Uh, maybe this is useful, actually. I could do better. I'm gonna re-roll it a couple of times. I don't need like something super crazy. I think I actually want Arm Master. Just thinking. I could technically move the broker off. Eerie, I guess. And Parameter has the most raw stats. Sadly, that doesn't raise in at all. It's like I want it, but I don't think I can use it. Is. Yeah, I don't think I can use it. Oh, I could actually technically just give this to Rogue Nine. I guess it's not the worst thing ever. Hmm. Sure. I guess this is better than nothing. I'll do this. Okay. So I unfortunately. <laughs> Now we know, Chad, because last time I didn't mess around with this boss, but now I know. Okay, since this boss actually does real damage, at least when combined, new strategy. We are going to start the same way, but then I'm going to retreat everybody. I think that's the power play. So we, we try to get Kirk buffed while we can. This is all the same. Don't want to make her go down there, because we learned the hard way. There's nothing she could do if she goes down there. Almost everybody's Braveheart is actually really good. I did the same strat as before. I can rebuff if I need to. Yeah, Kirk's damage is looking pretty good. 
So I mostly just need to protect them. So what I'm going to do this time is after she uses her buff, I'm just going to retreat with most of these characters. Like, Tronic can probably get a free Brave card, for example. We'll protect Chris and Imperimeter from gunshots. And I think we're just going to go in and start killing everything that we can. Oh, wow, that gun range is very high. Hi. That's fine. We lost a character. That's fine. Back into here we go. Oh, how convenient of them to do that for me. Hmm. Right, chat? I'll take that. I so badly want to kill this guy with magic. Alright, the gunners need to go. They're definitely a big problem. We could probably merge them all together. When it's down to just one, we'll try to give the kill to somebody else. We do something like... This to kill him. Oh. Wait, 27? Wait. Yeah, there we go. Good job, Kirk. <laughs> Get that weapon proficiency. <laughs> there we go. We'll take that. All right, so now we just need to stall. So Gonna Bite It is going to grab him. And we're going to need probably Rogue Nine to run it down. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Rogue Nine. Hello, Chris. Hope you're doing well. I think I want to injure him before they combine. I'm actually just going to hit him with a few spells and then lift him. Okay, team, team mage just needs to do some damage here. So we're going to absolutely... Oh, he's weak to fire this time. Oh, that's unfortunate for him. There we go. So we're going to pre-weaken him a little bit. Then I think I can hit him one more time with the character. Or I can have her magic boost. Yeah, let's have a magic boost. Throw them together. We have two turns to hand off this kill to somebody. I think we could do that. So sorry, you're gonna die. You're gonna live up to your name. Alright, so we weakened him up a little this time. Kirk is probably gonna die, no matter what we do here. But we can use this opportunity to learn some spells. Let's go ahead and start using wind, just to learn it. Actually, that eh, doesn't matter. I think it's mega fire time. I keep forgetting. If he's resistant to win this time, I actually want to do this. This into this. There we go. I don't know if this will kill. I'll just do a very basic Hurricane Slash. Hopefully this doesn't kill. Nice. That did not kill, which is good. I'm gonna have Kirk come over here and heal Laharl. Let's put him out of kill range. We still have two more turns, so we're gonna have Gonna Bite It lift up. So yeah, we're increasing our weapon proficiency here. Ideally, I'm going to be able to trade this off. Kirk has a 90% chance of comboing with Laharl? Hmm. 
That's interesting. Wait, what? Neither of these characters are at max damage yet. Hmm. Wait, 942. Yeah, there we go. A little more damage. Okay, instead of Rogue 9... Well... I don't think this will matter either way. If it doesn't kill, it doesn't kill. But I could just have Rogue Nine come over here just for the assist. No downside to that. This will probably not kill, but we could we could try to believe. Actually, what I could try to do first, now that I think about it. Let's do a normal attack here first. That way I have to do... Did he seriously get put to sleep? Seriously? I mean, we're not going to lose, but it is annoying that that just happened again. So I can cure him with Rogue 9, which I think I have to do. So our strategy is not ruined. It's just more annoying that that happened. So we can assist next turn. I could risk a melee attack here. Thinking. I think I'm gonna have Try bite the bullet on this one. Let's weaken one more time. And then we'll go for the kill next turn. Okay, so I should definitely be able to pass that off to Kirk. Sorry, Try. Okay, take two. So Kirk should guaranteed kill if he attacks here with the combo attack. All I gotta do is weaken him a little more, and this should be GG. This should be quite the attack. How did that not kill? No, Kirk! Low roll! Oh, come on, that should have killed. That's so sad. Kirk earned that so bad. You have no idea, chat. Well, you know what? This is better than nothing. Okay, Rogue Nine, do your thing. Finish the boss. There we go. I know. That's okay. We ended with the team attack, though. Hmm. Not bad. What's wrong? Why are you holding back? I'm ready to get serious, but I don't want to injure the VIP. What? Who's he talking about? Has he fallen in love with me? Oh, sweet. Where'd you get that idea? What the? Why is the ground shaking? That's the space, space battleship Gargantua. There you go, chat. I'll let you see it a little more this way. We will now begin a full-scale attack with over two million battleships. But before that. Your father awaits you, Jennifer. Come with me. Father? I thought her parents passed away when she was a child. What? You didn't know? She is General Carter's foster child. What? I'm sorry, Gordon. What Curtis said is true. I was adopted by General Carter and raised as his child. He was a kind man. I always believed that he loved me. This is not where I thought he came about. Demons in other worlds was gonna go. He took Jenny. He's about to. But that couldn't have been further from the truth. He raised me only so he could use me. 
If you're going to complain about your father, tell him yourself. My orders are simply to bring you back alive. He wants to use me again? It doesn't matter anymore. Wait! Jennifer, don't go! You're the assistant of Captain Gordon, defender of Earth! Remember? Have you forgotten our sworn duty? Dot 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 chat. Um, didn't you dismiss her? Shut up! Don't dig up the past! I retracted that! Jennifer, it doesn't matter if you're Carter's daughter or not. As the assistant to the Defender of Earth, listen to your heart! What is right? What do you believe in? And what will you do right now? Gordon. Enough talk. Gordon, Overlord, I'd like to settle this once and for all. If you want Jennifer back, then find a way aboard the Gargantua. Until then, see ya. Here he goes, chat. Jennifer! Jennifer! To be continued. Episode 12, where the Neverwood Part 1 end. Be continued. Or we'll make another save in case I need to revert something. This is a bit worrisome. I never thought human intervention could cause such disorder. Nor did I. This may hinder our plans. Yes, indeed. What is troubling you? Is there something else? I cannot believe that this is the work of humans alone. Someone must be pulling the strings. Do you have an idea of who it might be? I think so, but I cannot be certain. I see. I will investigate the matter. But if you strain yourself much more, you will. <laughs> that is of little concern compared to the ordeal they are enduring. Episode 13, War of the Netherworld, Part 2. Damn it! Pesky humans! What do they want with the Netherworld, I wonder? Beats me. I don't understand how humans think. I'm back! How'd it go, Gordon? Easy, as expected. Using Thursday's navigation system, I was able to lock onto the Gargantua's coordinates. Good work! Now we can board the ship directly. But still, I'm surprised you were able to find the coordinates. You look about as smart as a rock. Well, it seems that Jennifer had already programmed them in. If Jennifer did, then did she expect this to happen? I guess so, but she must have wanted to give her father the benefit of the doubt. That's probably why she never told me about it. Dot 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 chat. Hey, how long are you planning on sitting around? We can't just let the humans have their way. Let's go! I shall show those fools what happens when you pick a fight with an overlord! Yeah! We'll show them! That's right! I'm overwhelmed with heroes' spirit! I'll save Jennifer no matter what! <laughs> this is getting interesting. Okay, chat, we're almost on the final chapter of the game, believe it or not. We hit 84, not too bad. Perks at 26, a parameter hit 18. How much did Rogue 9 get up to? 36? <laughs> he got a little bit of expansion. <laughs> A little bit of experience for killing the boss. What do you think, Chad? Um, uh, Rogue Nine actually tanky enough to maybe survive a hit. Unironically, can actually survive now. This is a historic event. The castle's never before been attacked by humans. Um, shouldn't you be a little more worried? Uh, don't sweat it. From my experience, things always work out one way or another. An armada of two million ships. The Neville world is doomed. <laughs> That's so true. You two over there, could you take things more seriously? What a plastic model of that battleship. Me too. Hmm.
Modern science, they call it. I was completely astonished. I thought humans would try to invade the netherworld. I'm quite impressed. I agree. They went a little too far. Show them what happens when you pick a fight with demons. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? I think we still have stolen memories. Okay, yeah, yeah, we saw this. I do have to look at all of the diary entries, chat, just so that you're aware before we go into the next chapter. So I think we've now seen all of them except for Cost of Betrayal. To get back my memories from Maduras, I tried to poison the prince, but I couldn't go through with I couldn't stand being Maduras' pawn anymore, and the king's voice was in the back of my mind. So instead, I used the prince to win my memories back from Maduras, but I tried to poison him. I had betrayed him. Even though my memories were stolen, I still broke my promise to the king. King Krichevskoy, you must be angry with me. Okay, I think that's all I need to read for now. So at this point, chat, we just have to beat the game. There's no... Like, chat, if you were to look at my notes right now, it's literally straightforward... It's throw to leave, straightforward killing, straightforward killing. Throw geoprisms into enemies, split up as needed. Overlord wrap the left side. End of chapter. <laughs> That's my entire set of notes. So, I'm not really that worried about Laharl getting the kill, but we're doing something a little harder now. Hmm. Is there anything I want to get from this? There's no point to getting a sword upgrade, but I could get a staff, as I said before. I just wish they were a little stronger. Uh, the other thing I want to do, potentially right now... Did Chris get mana? No. Did Imperimeter get mana? Yes, but it's not enough. Hmm. Hmm, 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 chat. I want to upgrade Imperimeter at some point. As well as Chris's character. I can make them the final mages of the game. I've added the Gargantua to the list of available destinations. It is exceptionally hard to connect a gate to moving objects, but is able to do so thanks to Thursday. Human technology is incredible. But of course! Ha ha ha! You shut up! Okay. I'm gonna save now that we get that little cutscene. So here's the moment of truth, chat. There is a way I could technically level proficiencies on this quest, and it is very annoying. I probably won't bother, I might just go straight to the exit. This is one of the only stages of the game you can actually complete without ever attacking. <laughs> Foolish, weak humans! Feel the wrath of the Overlord! Ha! General Carter, demons have commenced an attack! Don't fret for even a moment. Our armada is two million ships strong. But our defensive fleet is being obliterated! What? What are the enemy's numbers? J just one, sir! for destroying their ships. <laughs> See? He's not devoid of love. Sh shut up! I just don't want to stink up the netherworld with human corpses. I'm not... Beep, beep, blip, beep. High energy reading emanating from cannon. Everybody, look out! Now's not the time to be impressed. That's the Astro Cannon, the ETF's ultimate weapon. Demon or angel, you won't escape a shot unscathed. Hm. Interesting. 
Didn't you hear what Mr. Gordon said? Let's just avoid the cannon for now. What? That's no fun. Listen up, everyone. We have to find the entrance so we can sneak aboard. Hang in there, Jennifer. I'll save you. No matter what lies ahead, Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, will fight to the end. Hi, right, chat. So this is one of the most gimmicky stages in the entire game. Ooh, 5,000 experience. So. I don't remember if you could see their attack range. You can see they're very strong. Or you could just get, get to the exit that's right here. <laughs> just, just by the way, chat. If you stand on this tile, the map is over. It doesn't... They kind of mention it in the story, but yeah, that's all you need to do. You literally throw in a straight line, the stage is over. I don't remember how these things target, though. I was hoping we could see their attack range, like if they're allowed to just spin in circles. So I guess the thing that we could test first is can they reach me from the start of the area? <laughs> right, chat? And if they can, we just reset. Actually, speaking of which, let's just see. Can they hit me from here? No. So, <laughs> with that in mind, let's go level up our characters a little bit. Gimmicks! <laughs> they might be able to full rotate to things near them, but what if I just never go near them, Chad? I think in theory I might be able to reach them with enhanced magic. But I think for now, why don't we magic boost? Downside, we have to wait for this long animation. So I think if you are up here, they can't hit you for the most part. We could test that theory out in a second. So if my magic boost wasn't good enough before, I want to make sure everybody's is at least level 2. This gives a good opportunity if I need a spare mage, that at least their magic proficiency is a little better. That includes a parameter, who is at a whopping 5 rank, which is definitely our highest of every character other than Laharl. Though Chris is catching up rapidly. So what we can do is let's scout it out. And they hit me if I stand here. And the other thing we can test... I'm gonna throw Laharl. I'm gonna throw six feet under. If I throw him here, can he be hit? That's the other thing I'm gonna learn. Actually, for now, let's test out just how far we can move them. I'm gonna do something like this for now. Give me a red shirt. Or six feet under is also fine. Welcome, Nate. Hope you're doing well. I don't actually know if they can hit you on the upper platform, to be honest with you. Like, it looks like they hit the floor, right? So is it possible just to do something like this? The worst thing that's going to happen is I'm going to lose one character. So they seem to... Oh, they can angle upwards. I guess that answers that question.
I wasn't sure if they were allowed to aim upwards or not. It looks like they can. Do we know, uh... That is probably death for six feet under. Rip six feet under. Get a good brave heart going. Need to make sure everybody's brave heart is also at level two. I need to be able to level at least multiple people at once. I was gonna say, yeah. I, I was like, honestly, I don't know if I've ever bothered seeing how it can angle. So I'm learning in real time. I don't think they can reach Gordon, right? Gordon might still be safe. So we can find out the exact distance we can poke at these the mega cannons. Because essentially once we kill them, we can basically hide behind this and snipe the other ones. So if I had like max range proficiency, like as normally spells hit like three or so spaces, I could plus one and then maybe get a very big box attack to reach that. But yeah, without higher spell rank, I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, like, I, I can hit a diagonal or something weird to hit them. The closest I could probably get is, like, a couple tiles up. But without more magic rank, I don't think I could do it. But in the meantime, I could take advantage of this just to level up my magic for later. Not needed for the remainder of the playthrough, but it's more just to ensure that I have all I need for later. So everybody's magic score is at least an okay amount up. stand here to see. We'll, we'll move Gordon just to see. Actually, I prefer not to kill Gordon. I've got to bite it. Move a little closer. Because I know it's possible. Basically, once you go on the left side, the right side can't hit you. Because I didn't clear this legitimately once. But I just don't remember how far those shots go. I think they might go to like the base of the steps here. But the way it zooms in, you can't tell. Unless I could get another zoom. Oh, I could zoom out. Hmm. Alright, let's find out, chat. Will this kill him? We'll do one last little buff for our characters. That way it could say we can very easily do whatever we want later. So no matter who has to brave hard, you got a good setup going. getting there. So let's witness. Will this kill the character? No. So you can see, like, with enough magic, you can just kind of poke him out. But, yeah, we're not gonna bother. Though I was curious if they had a weak spot in the middle, because I was gonna abuse that, but that's fine. Um... At this point, I just need to move a couple of tiles, so I could just throw myself to the end. I could let Laharl die, because it's funny. But I probably just want to do one last little round of buffs. Just to make sure that all my magic ups are good for later. It's more important that I have Braveheart over magic up. So if it's between those choices, I'll level up Braveheart more. Okay. So now Etna mode should be a little less hard because at least I have good proficiencies across most characters. Um, I think I'm ready to exit, because I'll get 5,000 experience for everybody that's here. Kirk doesn't need the 5,000. So that's only going to give him a level. Meanwhile, these other characters would actually benefit from it pretty heavily. I think what I want to do is... Go to the end. There you go. Easiest stage, chat. That's it. <laughs> well, anyway. That's about as gimmicky as they come. And look at that, chat. We managed to get everybody with Braveheart now. And technically, we leveled Gonna Bite it? I 
Okay, so now we gotta figure out where we could get weapon proficiency. That's the other question. We have a couple chapters left before it becomes a problem. And by chapters, I mean three sets of stages, I think. Papa. So, Chad, I think we're within 12 stages of beating the game, because we have to go to the Gargantua, then there's post-Gargantua, and then the final area. You're wrong, Papa. You must stop. Please, Papa, listen to me. Oh, where am I? Are you awake? Curtis. Were you having a nightmare? You were tossing and turning. Yeah, as I said before, unfortunately in this version of the game, buffing doesn't provide experience. Otherwise, I could have had all the mages literally camp at the corner and farm XP. Which I think you could do in Disgaea Complete for the console, by the way. So if you really just want a power level, <laughs> just power level yourself in the corner. You're like, look, doing whatever I want. It doesn't matter. You won't have to worry about having those dreams anymore. It's also funny when there's sometimes, like, legendary items or, like, rare items in rank one. You just throw to the end and exit the stage. Curtis! That thing in your hand! You guessed it. Very good, Professor. You must know what it does, then. Stop it, Curtis! You call yourself human? Do I? I lost 70% of my body and something even more dear to me in an incident. Maybe I lost my sense of humanity at that time, too. It's time to sleep, sweet dreams. Ah! Mm, that scream! It's Miss Jennifer! It's coming from that way. Let's go. More humans. No. They just don't learn, do they? Beep, beep. Flip, beep. They are not human. Life signs 0 0.00000. Everyone, be careful. These are superhuman androids constructed by Curtis. Super human? Androids? That's right. Curtis is a brilliant scientist, rivaling even Jennifer. But he's been conducting fearful research all in the name of humanity. Could that scream be? No! He's attempting to modify Jennifer! He's attempting to modify Jennifer? There you go. Hey, stop imagining weird things. We have to save Jennifer. That's certainly an imagination. Oh, door of an axe. I kind of want the Sage's Staff over the Axe. Uh, I think I reset it. I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. We're at the point with Etna's story. I need this to actually be something interesting. One second. We're gonna reset it a couple times. I'll give up. I'll take XP up. I'll take a weapon. If it's a staff, that's the thing that I actually want. It doesn't have to be rare. I just need it to not be money. Okay. Good enough. So, we basically could just share kills at this point. So, the protagonist can do whatever he wants. Um... Hmm. Unfortunately, I think they all have guns, which... Oh, no. Wait, are they unarmed? Oh. I killed them so fast previously. Oh, these two had guns. That's why I thought that. That makes more sense in hindsight. Well, anyway, I guess what we're gonna do is... walk forward and let them try, I guess. They shouldn't be able to reach me. So what I can do is I can buff Perk's character. Also... There we go. See, now I can start doing stuff like this, chat. This is why I wanted Braveheart 2. So just in case we had to do this, we should be fine. Look at that AoE Braveheart. What silliness.
So now we have guaranteed Braveheart. That puts Kirk's damage at 1300, which is pretty solid. We have 3300 with Laharl. Not bad. We can hide Kirk. Now we can force enemies to try to hit Laharl. Should probably take care of this enemy at minimum. I don't want him to run down and hit an ally. That is a whole bunch of enemies that are looking to greet me. Basically what I can do is kind of stuff like this. How did Kirk not get it with 80%? Game. Are we are we sure these percentages are accurate? I missed a 60, a 50, and now an 80. What is happening? This is this is actually shenanigans. Chat, that is pure shenanigans. What nonsense. You try to give a kill, and it's like, nope. There's some XCOM percentages. I don't know what's going on. I was gonna merge. Oh, all the gunners are together. How convenient. I need them to die. Unambiguously, they need to die. Oh, I should move me backwards. Please give Kirk the bonus. <laughs> there we go. How did that not kill? So sad. Uh, we should be able to at least give it to Kirk, though. All we really need to do is lift up Laharl. Or I could throw them and combine them. I think throwing them and combining them makes more sense. Yeah, that should be fine. It's weak to ice, huh? Okay, who made frogs? Oh, Chris did. I should do something like this. Use ice from him, and then we're gonna lift him with. They gotta bite it in a little bit. Alright, so that should put them pretty close to kill range. I could take this opportunity to use more spells on them, even if it doesn't do damage. We learned Gigafire finally. We leveled enough. Let's use Mega Wind instead. Oh, he can't hit Diagonal with it. That's so sad. Okay, so even with enhanced defense, he should just be dead next turn. Kirk should be able to get some experience from this. What we could do is Mega Wind to weaken him up. Oh, I can actually learn Mega Ice with this. I don't want to put him next to the other character. Let's ship him out a little more. out of range. I think I could do this then. So I need Chris's character to move forward. And I can put this character here. And I can put this character here. Now Chris can kind of choose what ability he wants. If he wants any. Oh, I see what happened. They weren't backing it up. Uh... No matter what, I have to move them. Ice. Ice. If one of these characters gets it, it's not the end of the world. I would like to have hit this. I swear if the 80% doesn't work, I'm gonna lose my mind. 
There we go. Got quick extra levels. Don't don't spoil anything, Kalbisham. I don't want to know. Do not tell me about future stuff. Ooh, that is a decent int. I could give it to Imperameter. It's a massive int boost. And then I could give it to Chris. Not a big difference, but it's better than nothing. And I could give it to Ross. I think everybody got an upgrade. I guess that works. Right, chat? Okay, everybody got a weapon upgrade off of that. That was kind of worth it. all the remaining items, get some extra money. How is Kirk doing in terms of mana? 136. So he could actually do the thing that I'd want him to do if I want to right now. Hmm. I might do it. Alright, chat. Permit, permit me one more rank up. I want to do something for Kirk. I think he has enough XP now. So I think it's... I'll, I'll confirm with this character. So if I transmigrate... Oh, no, he needs 300 total. Okay, never mind. We need a little more for Kirk. Not that much more, though. 11 parameters still has 50 mana in there. These other characters getting mana is kind of funny, too. Because I don't really use them. Oh, Laharl. I know, it's gonna rank him up. Oh well. Because Kirk having more power would be useful, as would Rogue Dine being ranked up. We got some time. Beep, beep, blip, beep. Captain Gordon, incoming message from General Carter. From Carter? Okay, Thursday. Open a communication channel. <laughs> You're being a sore loser, Gordon. Of course. I can't let a villain like you win for the sake of Earth. I swear by the name Defender of Earth, Carter, I will defeat you. You just don't get it, do you? This invasion is for the sake of Earth. What? As you know, the Earth is confronting a serious crisis. Boom in population, the rise in crime, and the shortage of natural resources. The human race can't survive much longer. Yeah, I think with Kirk's character, we can get approximately 50 mana, no matter what, ranking him up. But I think he still needs, like, about another 100 or so. I think. Because you have to think of it this way, it's like 422, then he has to fight, like, a 1288. So that's at least 50 right there. But he might have to rank up one more time. Honestly, I did it at the beginning of the game, and now I totally don't remember. It would require an astronomical budget merely to find a new home for the people of Earth. That's why taking over the Netherworld is such a simple and economical solution. I'm sure I could scroll up on my notes if I really want to double check what level I was with Laharl at that point. Hmm. Your efforts are admirable. You'd make a great demon. But there wouldn't be a crisis in the first place if you humans weren't so stupid. As the overlord of the netherworld, let me say just one thing. Clean up your own damn mess. Ugh, you foul-mouthed little runt. I have something to add to that. General Carter, I am beyond angry. Give back my Jennifer, Chrome Dome! Why, you? You can't play nice, and neither will I. I'll trust you for the sake of Earth's future. Prepare yourselves! Okay. As I said before, everything is just kind of straightforward killing for a while. I like the lightsaber this guy has. I could technically steal it if I want to. Only these enemies were further back. Would have been able to uh, punish them. The only lightsaber guys seem satisfying. Hmm. 
could sacrifice some characters just to try to guarantee the Braveheart. enough Braveheart chat. <laughs> what do you think? Oops, all Braveheart. So as I said before, we have a lot of backups for Braveheart. And the more we have it, the easier it is for me to position for things like this. Let's see if we get a kill here. Nice. 136. It's getting closer. We can zoom him back. I'm almost at the point where he could probably kill something. Mostly what he needs are the love belts. So we'll probably take him off of Laharl in a little bit. Or I could just buy new ones, honestly. It's not a bad idea. Because I could probably get Kirk's attack power up to 2,000 right now if I wanted to. With very minimal purchases. Uh, let's see. Is there anything I want to do... Do I want to have... Let's say that Rogue Nine delay the enemy a little here. Push that guy back a little further. Should be good enough. They should protect most of our mages. Wow, they just want to die in a really terrible fashion, apparently. Look at that, chat. Like, okay. Ooh, we didn't kill that guy, so I might be able to share the XP with him. Ooh, you're weak to ice? Hmm. Oh, did they really kill Chris? Oh, that's annoying. He's the one that I actually wanted to uh, mega ice with. Whatever. In revenge for Chris. Resistant to fire. Hmm. I'm sure I could kill them if I put some effort into it. Yeah, let's do something like this. Fire. Giga fire. Mega fire. Oh, I can't reach from there. Mega fire. <laughs> Mega wind. Mega Ice. Kirk slaps him in the face. Oh, just a little shy again. Oh, that's so unlucky. I was thinking they were going to be doing 50s of damage. Oh well, rip Kirk. I tried. He has to get- wait, are they not going to- oh, they are going to hit Kirk. So sad. Oh, did that not kill? So sad. I tried splitting the XP. It didn't quite work, sadly. Do something like this. Yeah, lightsaber's kind of neat. Oh, well. I wanted to share that XP, but we're just like a little too weak. So sad. Oh well. On the plus side, we're getting closer to our many, many, many extra kills needed for uh, the next upgrade. Because I think I need 300 deaths, I think I mentioned last stream. So we're getting there. We passed the halfway point. Hmm. Spirit belt, huh? War Belt with Triple Gladiator are actually kind of sick, but our defense is terrible. Hmm.
Let's get two upgrades for Kirk so we can start one-shotting. That is a terrible item. Let's try again. We're going to combine some of them together for more money, I think, in the next stage. While we still have our other characters. I might also buy one more in up just so we have more damage with the team. If only that actually had in, that would have been amazing. Come on. Titian is the exact opposite of what I want. Come on. We won Gladiator, and basically only Gladiator on the belt. Ooh, Statistician Double Gladiator. Actually, for how cheap that is, that's actually fun. Alright, so Kirk is using these currently, but he could be using this. You see the stat difference, chat? Just a little different. That means for... Rogue 9, I can actually put on a monster bell for him. Hmm. I could get rid of Muscle Ace and just get more Int for Imperimeter. Maybe that would make sense at this point. The others were just hand-me-downs anyway. Let's try something like this. Group and Parameters in. Make Kirk's damage go way up. Speaking of which, how is Kirk's uh, proficiency right now? Still not great. You know what we can do? We're gonna do a detour for Edna mode. This is not required to beat the game. Detour time. He needs to promote to increase his level anyway. Let's have him actually just melee these to death. This should give me the proficiency I need. Because Kirk now has enough raw levels that he shouldn't die to this. Remember, every proficiency level is 5% more stats from the weapon that he's holding. So this also helps him deal damage. Ooh, his lack of counters kind of blows. That's fun. Because if he gets Blade Rush, this means that I can finally attack. There we go. Now I can finally attack without hitting an enemy counterattack, which is huge. So that alone is good enough. But since we're preparing for Etna mode, I need to go further. Yeah, so I'm going to get 18 or so mana here. We need to make sure Blade Rush has more than a level 1 proficiency, because when we go to Transmogrify, we'll lose it. And if we lose it and don't gain something that does damage, we're in trouble. So I wanted it a little above level 2. Or level 1, I mean. So now we've learned it. So I think we need 160% or so? But you can see, like, now Kirk is having a much easier time clearing. And we'll see if this unlocks the other one. Okay, so we still can't transmogrify. What we'll do his final promotion. So we're gonna get another 40 or so mana. Which is good. He doesn't need that much more. We'll move forward. So he just needs two enemy kills from the other stage, and then we can get a super upgrade for him. In the meantime, we just need to keep swinging to get proficiency. That's a proficiency looking, by the way. Almost rank 2. That's good. So yeah, Kirk automatically went up 5% in stats. So he's going to be pretty good for a little bit. There we go. We could do the same thing for Rogue 9. Which I might actually do. Let's do the same thing for Rogue 9 since we're preparing for Edna mode. This is completely optional to the challenge. I don't need this to beat it, but if we if I have to start over with other characters, we gotta create some characters. On the plus side, Rogue 9 should have no problems building proficiency. 
In fact, I could just let him come in here, and he should just auto-win this encounter. Just keep in mind we gave him some hand-me-down belts, so he should be doing insane damage right now. You can see with the Brawler, with the counter-attacks, combat also goes pretty quick. Here we go. We're training up Rogue Nine for his next incarnation, as it were. Technically, I could do stronger enemy up while I'm doing this, but I don't really want to pass a weakened enemy bill. So I could manipulate it in a way where I could make it this is how I could level in theory, while doing the bare minimum of repeats. But I'd rather just keep it as is for now. Hopefully we get rank 1 triple strike by the time we're done. Nice. Again, Rogue Nine is a mostly real character. If we were to fight anything other than this stage that we're on, I think he could actually solo most of it, thanks to his counterattacks. There we go. Both these characters can transmogrify for the future. We need more mana. And you can see, because uh, Rogue Nine has been leveling a lot, I can actually jump him straight to Black Belt next time we do it, which as you can see is a pretty significant stat increase across the board. Ooh, we need 380 for it. But hey, I mean, if you do it, it's like getting a lot of extra skills. Where technically you could make them again at a lower level, but honestly... Probably worth going up here. The Kirk can get up to... Eight extra skill points to where he is now. So he'll be at a total of 19 attack per level, which is the same as Laharl. If he manages to get to skilled, which is not that hard. I could, in theory, level him up to average if I wanted to, but not really worth it. Yeah, like, in theory, he could come back to this one, but let's let's not, right, chat? I don't really need shoe inventory. The only reason I might want to do that is just for throwing people, but it's not mandatory to beat the game. We have, we have one character with a comfort sandal, and that's it. It's <laughs> just like, if I mess something up, I can reach it. Anyway, let's continue onwards. Curtis! Glad you could make it, Gordon. I knew the hordes of security guards wouldn't be enough to stop you. I thought you might like to know. It's been five years since I lost my wife and daughter. And with them, my soul. Hey, he's giving us his life story. Should we attack now? No, we have to listen. The rival always has a tragic past. May I continue? Oh, please, by all means. As I was saying, it's been five years since I lost my wife and daughter, and with them, my soul. Back then, I was a top scientist, burning with a passion to save the Earth. If it wasn't for that fateful incident... Five years ago? As a result of the explosion in the lab, I lost my family and 70% of my body. One knows the protocol, but forget that attack. Nice. A group of anti-space development terrorists were to blame. You mean your wife and daughter were victims of that incident? I was going to say, there's no way from the beginning of the game chat called that anything we're talking about here would have happened. That's right. You caught the culprits. But what comfort would that be to me? The Sky of One has many twists and turns from its origin. I swore to my wife and child, since the Defender of Earth couldn't do his job, I would take his place. And I became a cyborg to do just that. What good is the Defender of Earth if he can't save innocent people? A true Defender would do anything in his power to save as many people as possible. I can't accept anything less. I will defeat you, Gordon, and claim the title of true Defender of Earth. That is the only path left to me. So that's it. I didn't know you had such a past, Curtis. It was all due to my failings. Forgive me. But what you're doing now, Curtis, is not the right way. What? I'm fighting for the sake of humanity. Invading the Netherworld might save the Earth, but it would require many sacrifices. 
Is that what you want? Is that really for the sake of Earth? You should know best what it feels like to be a victim, Curtis. What will your wife and daughter think up in heaven? Wow, that's kind of low to say. Yeah, I would, I would definitely at least seven hyphen that. I am the defender of Earth. My duty is to right what is wrong, even if it means that I must face a comrade in arms. I don't want to fight you, but this is for your own good. Here I come, comrade. Behold, the true spirit of a defender. Okay. So we're in a big old stage. Unfortunately, a super enemy boost. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of annoying. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. so he's up here. He's our goal. I guess I'll slowly deal with the geo symbols. Let's see, chat. I didn't try this before, but am I allowed to just ignore them and hit the symbols? Just end my turn. Just out of curiosity. And that hurts, but it's not the end of the world. The counterattack was kind of brutal. They could do something like this. Hey, gonna bite it. Do you mind, uh... Will healing me? <laughs> right, chat? Re rest in peace, gonna bite it. <laughs> right, chat? Rest in peace. <laughs> Alright, I think we can afford to ignore it now. They should be doing way less damage now, at least. That still puts me sc scary low. I might actually need to heal after this, like for real. How many healing items do I have left, by the way? I have two, right? Two and then partial heals, right? Yeah. That's kind of rough. I probably could have bought one more healing item. That's fine. Okay, so that should be way easier now. <laughs> um, I could summon people, but I don't think it makes sense right now. The gunshots are what's doing me in. I think what I want to do is something like this. Might actually survive this. I'm gonna use him to heal. Hmm. I think what I'm gonna do, I might demand some sacrifices here. Just to guarantee I could kill the boss, I might need to do this. Then I can hide Kirk if I need to. Actually, if Chris can buff from here, he might ironic No, he won't survive. I will hit him. Um Alright, so we have Kirk all buffed up. The Kirk is our emergency damage dealer. We still have Laharl. Hopefully we have one survivor from this, but we'll see. Oh, the diagonal. That sucks.
I'm gonna have to kill the other guy. Hmm. I'm actually not sure if I'll live, because I don't have enough healing item. It's gonna be very interesting, chat. I mean, I'm happy Kirk leveled there. We'll buy me some time. Try to lift this character to save Kirk, maybe? If this works. Oh, the other person could shoot. Oh. I keep forgetting in this game, guns can shoot diagonal. That is actually really annoying that they could do that in this version. All right, we're gonna walk backwards. I have enough damage that I should be able to kill everything. It's just unfortunate that I also ran out of SP. It was like the worst timing. We're gonna heal and back up more. Then we should be fine. We used, like, every last bit of healing, Chad. Can we talk about this? I'm at zero. Yeah, Kirk went out swinging. That's all you could really ask for, honestly. Ooh, he survived that by a lot. Okay, will this kill us? You know what? That was a poor choice on his part. Bye. <laughs> right, chat? Bye. <laughs> Idiot. Oh, I don't have enough mana, really? Let's do this then. Man, we're using up all of our items, chat. Okay, when we come back later, we're definitely gonna heal. Snake kidney, sure, our last heal item. <laughs> I was gonna say, chat, look how down to the wire this is. See, now, doesn't it make sense, chat, when I bought all those SP items? Do you see what I was saving for? It all makes sense now in hindsight, I'm sure. All right, we have enough to hit him from long distance. The question is, can I? All right, so if he hits me, I can hit him again and then run. Oh, he normal attacked? That is the most that is the most generous thing he could have given us, chat. Thank you. Now die. Die for your generosity, fool. Wow, we used up every single possible heal in our inventory, chat. Well, I know what we're gonna do later. Well, we'll get one healing item back, apparently. Damn, chat, down to the wire. So this should help us purchase all of our healing items again. Well done. You've proven me wrong. I felt the true defender's spirit, the strength of your determination, even in this mechanical body. I lost. Now, finish me. Okay. There you go, chat. Okay. We'll kill you in one painless blow. You can't! Curtis, our battle has already ended. You tried to do what you thought was right. It's just that your sorrow drove you to do it in the wrong way. Chat's like K. That's why I want you to fight by my side as a comrade. How about it? Gordon. I could use a skilled person like you as one of my vassals. <laughs> the Overlord's vassal. That doesn't sound too bad, but it seems that my body needs to recharge. I must sleep for a while. Gordon, be careful of... Jennifer. Curtis, be careful of Jennifer? What does he mean by that? Be careful of Jennifer? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Modification? Mm hmm. Modification. Will you three grow up already? There you go, chat. Wow, that took a team effort. <laughs> Well, on the plus side, we managed to unlock another heal. You know what? I'll reroll it. Why not? Ooh, actually, if that ends up being attack up, that could be relevant. 
That is actually relevant. Let's go grab that. So we've lost all of our healing items, so we need to go purchase some. Just seeing if there's anything else interesting here. Broker Gladiator. Eh, I'll hold off. So Kirk's damage is definitely quote-unquote good enough. It's not good enough to beat a boss. But everything else is pretty good. Alright, we need way more flan. So we have a ton of SP ups, we just need to balance it out a little more. Eclairs are good pickups for us. I'll get like two more. Can never, never be safe enough yet. So yeah, we have five super heals and then some mixed heals and two stat cures, so that's good. Technically, I could get like a minor SP up. I think this is the most items I've ever done in a playthrough before. Usually you never use items in this Gaia, but we're actually using it as intended. Double checking one thing before we go further. Okay. So Kirk is at how much? So he needs a total of 400? So he needs four kills? I could probably do that. Honestly, like Kirk and Rogue Nine are honestly not even that low level anymore. I just have to get them to the point where I can literally just give them Laharl's weapon. Just keep in mind that Laharl's stats also come from, like, Sophia's Mirror, which adds a lot of stats. Like, 118 is no joke. Although Kirk does have a better belt than Laharl does, funny enough. That 183 is better than Love Belt. So that's why I decided to pick that up earlier. That was curious. So, I think we're ready to go to the bridge. We finally got you cornered, Carter. Release Jennifer now. As you wish. Uh oh, chat. She became a pallet swap. Jennifer. Hey. That's not what I expected. Me neither. Hey, you call this a modification? <laughs> so you found out about it, eh? That's right. I've installed a neural override device. Neural override? Exactly. Jennifer is now my puppet. Jennifer, go defeat Gordon. Dot, 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 chat. <laughs> this must be a joke. I, the defender of Earth, could never lose to such a delicate creature. That was the line for sure. Jeez, you're weak. Gordon, maybe you're not cut out to be a hero. <laughs> what do you think of that? Jennifer is a master of the ancient martial art, Kung Fu. What? I never knew that. You never asked. That explains it. So what am I supposed to do? No way can I use my full fighting potential against Jennifer. You lose anyways, man. How about we just blow up the entire ship? Oh, no, you don't. I already claimed this ship. Ah, uh, I see. Well, so much for that idea. Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, facing his greatest challenge ever. How pathetic, Gordon. What happened to that spirit you were bragging about? Curtis, you're better already. <laughs> Your voice woke my heart up to the ideals I forgot long ago. Stand aside. Let me show you my defender spirit. Jennifer, kill that traitor first. <laughs> Uh... 
Gordon, you called me a comrade. I, I looked up to you. That's why I became a scientist in the first place. Funny, isn't it? How did things end up like this? If only I had realized sooner. What has just been his order of demon culture? Kind of. No, it's enough that I realized it in the end. I bet they're smiling down on me from heaven. Jennifer, stop wasting your time with that miserable traitor. Curse you all. I'll just blow you all up at Jennifer too. In case of an event like this, I put a bomb inside the neural override device. <laughs> now die. I made that device, and I know its weakness. <laughs> Jennifer, I can't let you die here. Oh! <laughs> hey, Gordon, do you think I could ever be a true defender of Earth? Yeah. Yeah, of course you could be. What am I saying? You are a true defender of Earth. <laughs> Thanks, Gordon. I won't forget the defender spirit. You showed me. Rip Curtis. More or less. He did go kaboom. I should be the one thanking you. <laughs> Dead already? You will be known as the 38th defender of Earth. Damn, chat meme and all over him. Let's go, Defenders of Earth. Heed right, so my words, Death. I command you in the name of King Laharl. Lead the soul of Curtis, Defender of Earth, to his family's side. Prince? Laharl? Don't say a word. As the overlord of the netherworld, I was just paying homage to a true hero. That's all. Yes, I understand. Carter, I'll never forgive you. <gasps> Wait, Gordon. Jennifer, you're back to normal. Yes, I was conscious the entire time I was being controlled. Because of me, Curtis... He did what he thought was right. I'm sure he has no regrets. And now his spirit will burn brightly in your heart. Yeah, you're right. Jennifer, you are no longer my assistant. Fight alongside me as an equal, as a defender of Earth. Thank you, Gordon. I understand. Let's forget about the past and concentrate on the present. Wait, wait, Jennifer, I'm your father. Have you forgotten everything that I've done for you? No, I haven't. If you hadn't taken me in back then, I might not be here today. I loved you and believed in you. But we were never a true family to begin with. You raised me only so you could manipulate me. I'll never call you father again. Prepare yourself, Carter. <laughs> you ungrateful little... That's it. Die! Dot, 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 chat. A celestial host? Why? Why are angels helping him? It's not his spirit burning in her heart that's the bomb still inside her. True. Apparently, someone's been pulling strings from behind the scenes. Celestia's involved, huh? It just keeps getting better, Prince. It can't be. Is this the will of the Seraph? Okay. Well, let's take a quick look at the enemies. So, not too much to do here. We get to kind of take our time. These enemies are not anywhere near as threatening as the other ones, honestly. Like, they don't even have a thousand in hit with gun, so it's like, pff, whatever. All right, chat, what are some dumb little angels gonna do to our party? Um. Uh, I think 
Rescue's gonna bite it, maybe. Just thinking about it. I could try to play it slow to give some XP. Maybe I could do something like... Because I would like Kirk to get some XP at some point. He needs to get like two kills, I think, exactly. But in the meantime, we can hide people back here. Get a good power buff going. Try to protect Chris this time a little better. Thanks to constantly using Braveheart. Yeah, look how far away I can Braveheart with a parameter, by the way, Chad. So if I really want to, I could tuck him in the corner. Benefits of just being able to do whatever you want after a certain point. This strategy I was preparing to use when we get monsters. But hey, if we manage to get them with more staff rank, I'm not going to say no. Chris finally got up to 5. How about in Parameter? Parameter is still at 6. Not bad. So it does 2,500. They only have 1,000 health. Should be basically fine. I... I more or less just need them to go within range, Blade Rush, and then throw Kirk to safety. It's a lot of enemies. Die. That felt a little hateful from them, I'm not gonna lie. A little hateful. But this might open us up for a good opportunity here. I think Chris... or not Chris. I think Kirk can actually get his kill right here. And I could kill everything on this side of the room to keep people safe. Oh. Like, would I do that? Um, actually, just a spear user. I could do this, then. Alright, so that makes it a bit easier. I can protect some of our mages. If I could throw diagonal, I could throw, like, this one over here. But I think the play is to try to protect Kirk as long as possible. So hopefully he does not just immediately die here. I'm going to be very sad. Please get a kill. A little shy. But that's fine. We have backups for this. We're going to call this insurance. We're going to have somebody pick up Kirk as well. But Kirk should get his two kills here. Pray. Die. 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 Hmm. Kirk has a guaranteed kill here. So that should put him there, right? 250s is 100. Then he'll be at 353. Oh, no, he's going to be 50 shy. So he needs three kills. Hmm. This should be doable. It's, it's now become a puzzle chat. <laughs> How do I throw them in a way that I could take advantage of this? I could try to combine them into one character for Kirk to kill. Not the worst idea ever. So right now he could definitely one-shot this, but how greedy do I get? Oh, I think I greed a little bit here. Nah, I don't think that's going to work. Alright, so what we're going to do is get the kill here. Nice. So now he just needs one more kill, and he's set for the rest of the playthrough. Uh, we need to get some massive kills in here, like, immediately. 
This should help. Laurel's still leveling up, not that he needs it anymore. So the fact that Kirk can actually get that kill shows how much stronger he is compared to the beginning. And then we can combine these two and give Kirk another kill? I think that is actually the play. Sorry, six feet under. You gotta die for the glorious cause. Uh, let's use a parameter to weaken. <laughs> 77 wind resistance. Okay, that feels a little hateful. I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna say chat, that doesn't feel good. And then we can maybe summon try next turn. I can summon him this turn. Oh, nice. Now I can teach him to win magic, since I'm here. It's not going to do damage, but I could use this to train proficiencies. Which is also useful. Lift. So yeah, there we go. And that also helps give us more money, and it also means that Kirk will more likely than not jump certain more levels. So we've already wounded them a little bit, but we need to do more. So we need to hit them with ice last. Let's do something like this. So, keep using wind. Keep using wind and then he'll learn wind. So now Imperameter can learn Mega Wind without having the ability access there. Then I can Mega Ice. Then I can see how much damage Kirk, damage Kirk does. Gotten out of the way. Ninety one is just not good enough. Hmm. Dare I risk a counter war? I need to just like chip this enemy. If this enemy had fire resistance, I would have fire punched. Hmm. I I think I could do this to be cheeky. Even if I accidentally get the kill here, it's not the end of the world. Alright, that sped it up significantly. I think Chat can agree. That was probably worth doing. Alright, so we'll die on this. So now we just need to build up a big combo for Kirk and then it's over? Attack power doesn't seem right. I'm actually going to make sure that we buff once, maybe using Chris. There we go. That looks a little better. Odds of killing going up. Uh, let's see. So I just need a good combo here. So I couldn't even hurt this enemy. Oh, because they have 1,500 resistance. That explains it, right, Chad? I was like, wow, we did no damage earlier. But hey, we learned Mega Wind permanently. That's always nice. Can I seriously not Blade Rush? Is this happening? Are they in a position in which I cannot look Blade Rush? This is super awkward. I could split the kill, but then I won't get enough mana. Um. Okay. What I can do instead is this. Should okay. This should still work. Come on, Kirk, you can do it. Yeah, there we go. Nice level up, too. Nice. Extra hell is always good. <laughs> you may have foiled my plans this time, but I'm not through yet. Wait, Carter! 
<laughs> Farewell! I can't believe it! Demons are that powerful? His information was completely wrong. Damn you! So trying to drive humanity into extinction from the beginning? Who is he? Oh! Who... who are you? No matter how advanced your technology is, it is impossible to infiltrate the netherworld without help. Now answer, who is behind this? I, I, I can't. If you do not say, I will kill you. It, it, it's a man with white wings. I'm innocent. I, I, I just wanted to save the Earth. I see, foolish human. You cannot save the Earth. How do you intend to save all of mankind when you cannot even save your daughter? You have sacrificed the lives of others to satisfy your own ego. Until you realize that, you will be plagued by nightmares. We will be watching you. Oh, why am I so awesome? Thank you, Curtis. I will never forget you. I swear to you that I will fight with both our strength for the sake of humanity. No, not just for humanity, for every living creature. I will too, Curtis. You saved my life. I shall repay you by dedicating it to world peace and to preventing others from becoming victims like you and your family. Juan? I'm going back to Celestia. What? I must return to find out the Seraph's true intentions. Episode 13, War of the Netherworld, Part 2, and here we go, chat. We're in the home stretch. Seems like one problem leads to another. We found out that the humans were being manipulated by the angels. Now, Flan wants to return to Celestia to go face to face with the Seraph himself. What awaits her there? Will the Archangel's true intent be finally revealed? Next on Disgaea, Hour of Darkness, final episode. What lies beyond the battle? The fate of the Netherworld is in your hands. Th this must be a dream. Is acting all serious. Could this be a sign of terrible things to come? It's the end of the world! End of the world. Danger, danger, danger. Dude! Everybody run! <laughs> okay, so I think I did everything to unlock Etna mode? Question mark. Oh. I don't know if there's a way to tell, but if nothing else, we kept a save here. We're going to put another save here. After learning that Celestia was behind the incident with the Earth Defense Force, I made up my mind to go back to Celestia to ask the Seraph about it directly. So wish me luck, chat. The Netherworld. Celestia. The Human World. I never imagined that this war, which involved the entire universe, would come to such an unexpected end. Your mind's made up? Yes. I must speak with the Seraph and find out what has been happening in Celestia. Do you realize that you may have to face him as an enemy? Face Master Lamington as my enemy? He's the head of Celestia, right? We know that someone in Celestia has been helping the EDF. He must have known about it. I agree. I think it's very possible that he's even the mastermind. Wasn't he the one who ordered you to go to the Netherworld in the first place? To assassinate my old man? What? An angel ordering an assassination? That's just wrong. He's guilty without a doubt. No, he's not! Can you say that for sure? I believe in Master Lamington. Dot, 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 chat. I see. All right, then. Let's get going. 
dot 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 question mark. It's a good opportunity for me to check out the so-called Seraph. I'm going with you. Harl! Jeez, Prince, why don't you just admit it? I'm worried about Flan, so I'm gonna go with her. What's so hard about that, huh? F fool That's far from the truth! Now, now. We all feel the same way, Harley. Jennifer's right. As the defender of Earth, I cannot let my comrade go alone. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. We are comrades. We go together. End of discussion. I was gonna say, chat smiles every time Thursday's on screen. <laughs> Bunch of fools. Everybody! We did indeed get called out, and by we, I mean Laharl. Final episode, what lies beyond the battle. So as I said before, doing it as solo Laharl, not that hard. Now taking it a step up and preparing for Etna mode while also still playing? Insanity. Before I talk to anybody, I need to know one thing, chat. This will determine if I reset. Hold on. Did I accidentally kill anybody? Oh, we did not accidentally kill anybody. Thank you. <laughs> if I do that, I have to go back to wherever we didn't kill them. All right, chat. We're going to go pick up one of the most important items in the game. Right here. So here's where the luck comes in, chat. <laughs> How good do you think this weapon is going to be? Goss. At last, the final battle. I'll give you a worthy present. Receive the Diabolic Sword. Okay, is it any good? It came with Statistician. That is not good enough. We reset. We need something for Etna mode. It needs to be, like, undeniably overwhelmingly good. Chat, like, I'm telling you. Anything that is not godlike stats, we're resetting. See, like, we got 263s, right? Yeah, weapon resetting sucks. I'm gonna... S Actually, let's not save right here. I'm gonna save right next to this, and we're gonna reset until it's Gladiator, or at least... Uh, something else. If if we were just playing normally, I beat the game without it having anything special. So my answer would be, I don't think it's needed to beat the final episode. But I am doing it to make sure we have something for Etna mode. Although you know what I'm going to do. We're going to reset a few times. It technically could come in legendary, by the way, chat. I'm not looking for it to be legendary. I just want it to be like... Double. It, I'll take double Gladiator. It doesn't even have to be triple. I'll take double. Like, like that is not good enough. So one thing I'm going to do, chat, because I'm tired of menuing. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and move one of the chocolates over here. We're going to leave it at the top of the list so we can just grab it instantly. We're going to make it more efficient to reset on it. One. Like, diet like, 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 obviously, we're, we're gonna die in one hit. Dietitian does not help us. We need it to be, like, just ungodly powerful. You know... Shake your head, chat. We're gonna be here for a little bit. I need this for Etna mode. Because I don't think I'm gonna purchase another upgrade in Etna mode. Unless I really have to. You know, if that was the 75 Gladiator, I would have taken that. I'm not even gonna be greedy. I just want it to be Gladiator and something. It doesn't need to be a triple... Doesn't need to be rare, doesn't need to be legendary. 30 Gladiator is just not good enough. <laughs> we know it could potentially be really strong, and given that we get up to potentially like 60% of the weapon stats, like PSO style, like it is very imperative that this does not roll terribly. <laughs> Sorry, Jao, we're gonna reset. I want at least a total of 60 in Gladiator. That's all I want. Legendary or Gladiator? Nope. I know. We're talking to the Tekker in PSO all over again, Jav. It's so BS. Can you please give me something a little better? Could you just do better? No, 42 in Gladiator is not good enough. You've, so, you've shown us you can give us up to 72. And there were three potential slots. That, I'm afraid, is just not good enough. But it's also just not good enough. I will take at least a 60 in Gladiator. I'm not going to go to, like, it has to be 80 or perfect, but it needs to do just a little better. Sorry about the resets here. Hopefully it won't take too long. Because this weapon is already way stronger, just to show you. Like, even without any attack ups, chat, Laharl's getting 400 extra attack 
Do you see what I mean, chat? Like, it, this weapon could be crazy good if the game lets us use it. And because Kirk is behind in proficiencies, I need this to be really good. <laughs> Give me your weapon stats, you steady loser. I know. We're getting PSO'd so hard right now, Chad. Come on. Did you really put the 75 in coach and not the gladiator? I'm so, I'm so annoyed. If that was the 75 in gladiator, I would have taken it. Even though the other stats aren't helpful to me, I would have taken that. I'm not accepting a 40 in gladiator. I'm sorry. We could do so much better. Although it feels like we can't. Well, maybe decide to grind more characters. Uh, Etna mode is unlockable in this game, I confirmed. There we go. <laughs> right, chat? It, it doesn't have to be, like, the best thing ever, but it just it just a little bit makes a big difference. So I'll, I'll save here. This is good enough. If I feel like re-rolling it later, we're good. Yeah, so for Kirk, it's not as big of an increase because his uh, proficiency needs to go up. Ooh, I didn't consider his hit percentage was based off of that. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna do something real quick. Oh, okay. That was weird. Got stuck on the stair. It would not let me climb the stair. Stair impossible. He's 22 mana short. Hold on, chat. We, we can fix this real quick. <laughs> we can fix this real quick. <laughs> Only 20? Hold on. We're gonna fix it real quick. Alright, so now Kirk has the Death Blade. So nothing will possibly ever resist this character now. So any proficiency loss we might inhabit or inhibit here. We're gonna get back just by meleeing a couple times. Now our overall proficiency still needs a lot of work. But that's fine, we'll get there. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and upgrade Kirk. It's not the highest- oh, I forgot about Pretty Day. Yeah, so Pretty Day, just to mention briefly, if you're playing with- you can only summon Prinnies, but every single slot in the bonus map is items, instead of XP or health. If you want to get some rare items, you can do it that way, but I don't feel like doing that. Let's just migrate Kirk up into here. So he's going to be at a ridiculous number of skill points. Yeah, look at that. He actually gets more attack per level now than Maharl does, by the way, chat. So this is kind of huge. I'm getting three more attack per level up than Maharl, to give you an idea. Like, that's not insignificant. So we lose some of our proficiencies, but that's fine. Perk is upgraded. Uh, do I feel like upgrading anybody else? At some point I need somebody to be a super mage here, but I don't know who it'll be. Rogue Nine, sadly not enough to transmogrify. Even if I kill all the people, it's not enough. Rogue Nine, Rogue Nine did what Rogue Nine needed to do though, I will say. That triple strike to push the enemy away was so needed at one stage. So yeah, Kirk is now back at level 1. But funny enough, his stats are basically the same as before. He just doesn't have a lot of mana. So what I can do temporarily is remove... Oh. Oh, Kirk's Masamune was better than what Laharl's using? That's hilarious. Then I can unequip the this item. So I still have more attack power than I did before. And then what I could do for Kirk is get rid of his weakest belt and replace it with Sophia's Mirror so he actually has SP. And then Laharl just take another monster belt. So overall his damage is up, which is funny, by taking Kirk's old weapon. And now Kirk has Sophia's Mirror, which is really good for us because it also has a statistician in there times two if we really need it. So yeah, this is going to be a lot of SP that Kirk needs, because he needs to be able to Blade Rush. And he should be good. Okay, cha challenge number one. We got to level Kirk. <laughs> he, he has to level, or we're in trouble. 
The gate that connects Celestia and the Netherworld. Prince, please be careful. Do we have another spare sword in case we want another sword user? There are... Let me see, chat. Sorry for making the screen flick. There are... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stages before we beat the game. So I have eight stages to level Kirk. <laughs> so, this is the entrance to Celestia. It is said that one of the former Seraphs had this gate constructed to cut off the Netherworld from Celestia. That's why it can only be opened by the residents of Celestia. Hmm, that's not fair. Okay, I'm going to open the gate. Is everybody ready? Bonjour, everyone. It is a pleasure to see you here. Oh, it's you, Mr. Midboss. Weren't you saying earlier that only Celestians can open this gate? Oh, um, that's strange. <laughs> it has been thousands of years since a demon other than moi passed through this gate. Uh-huh. It's all clear to me now. You're an evil henchman who's been hired by the Seraph. <laughs> Wrong! I know. You're an angel in disguise. <laughs> Another wrong answer. You all have very active imaginations, but I, the Dark Adonis, just happen to be passing by. Nothing more. Huh. So, Dark Adonis, why is it that you're in Celestia? I am here to test your resolve. What? From this point on, you will face challenges unlike anything you have experienced before. Whether or not you can emerge victorious, I would like to see with my own eyes. But what does that have to do with you? Why do you care? Answer me! <laughs> we have talked long enough. Show me what you are capable of. My chat, so we have an opportunity for a lot of experience here, technically. It is XP plus 100%. Did boss why we're in the endgame? We should have forgotten half a game ago. So if we manage to form them into one giant massive unit, I could get a lot of experience here. And if I can keep most of my other characters alive, I could probably level our mages up pretty easily. They're not going to be like god tier or anything without another super staff. Like a parameter could probably do the most damage to minus fire. So let me think. Um, I probably need to actually hurt mid-boss for real every turn if I'm able to. So if he merges, because remember chat, bosses get bonus experience in this game. I don't want to accidentally kill these guys. I could risk a turn end here. Oh, they killed the Harl. Never mind. <laughs> right, chat? Never mind. I wasn't sure. They, he, Lahar, I guess with Sophia's mirror, I survived last time I did that. That's fine. I don't need the bonus XP here, as I'm going to be getting most of it from the stage. I'm just curious what it is. Money's also fine. Hmm. I think what I need to do is... Yeah, you can see, like, if I leveled up, it basically would take a level 14 character to level 17. And it would take, like, a 17 to about level 20. So it's not, like, massive level ups from that. I think what I need to do is... Let's get our buffs going early. Actually, no, nah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do this, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift him up in the air, and that should be all I need to do. The same thing, but this time I then lift him with Etna after it's done. It should protect him. Oh, only one moved at a time. That's kind of funny. So now if Laharl dies, it doesn't matter as much.
damage. I mean, if I throw in the base, technically I could capture this monster if I want to. I just have to put Laharl back in the base. But I prefer not to do that. Oh, I think that'll work. I could do this, this, into Rogue Nine assisting here. Then I could do some damage to them with Perk, weaken them up a little. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of defense to get through. Hmm. I think this should still be fine. Laharl can't die in one hit here. So I could weaken them ahead of time, which would make sense. Because this just makes it easier. Let's see if we can kill him from here. This is the real question. I'm not sure if we can. What we need to do guaranteed is stand diagonal of each other. I might have used too many kills earlier. going to summon one more, I think. We should be able to get both of their attack powers pretty high. It's just a question of, can Kirk damage the boss? So three brave hearts will help. So that'll put Kirk almost to 2,000. Yeah, let's see if he could do it. He still has a lot of SP. This 387, that's going to take a while, but we can also hit him with the protagonist as well. Might be doable. Let's lift him with a character with a lot of health. Support him. It's maybe doable. It's going to be real rough, though. We definitely want a hurricane slash again. One thing I want to make sure, we're at 2,500. I think we could get more attack power. More attack power here would be huge. Let's just view. So he's at 2,500 currently. 2,800. Let's do it one more time. Like, this alone is already a pretty big dif damage difference. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Now I can Hurricane Slash, and then I can Blade Rush. Let's see how much damage we do. Okay. So we'll need, we need one more turn to kill. I think that's actually doable. Right, Chad? I think that's actually legitimately doable. 3200. Can we get higher is the question. We can. Ooh. Right, Chad? Ooh, doable. Oh, it goes down every turn. Oh, I forgot. That means I gotta be careful. So I could do two buffs here. Keep at max damage. Then we can Hurricane Slash again. Then I can Blade Rush again. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Kirk is so close! It's not gonna be enough! Oh, somebody's gonna have to die. Somebody's gonna have to die for the, the glory of Kirk's level. I'm sorry, whoever's about to die. Oh, this is gonna be so tight. Alright, so he needs to be buffed every turn. So I could, in theory, try to stall with Laharl. Like, look how close that is, Chad. That is so painful. Alright, we're gonna level Chris's magic a little more. Well, Laharl, <laughs> it 
You walk so Kurt could run. Die, Laharl. <laughs> it's about time someone got their revenge on you. Right, Kirk? It's about time. You know what? He had it coming. Everybody died for Laharl, now everybody dies for Kirk. <laughs> look at the look at the tension of how close this is. Alright, so let's see. Can I get Chris to learn another spell while we're here? That'd be nice. Oh, he almost learned Mega Ice. Alright, so what we should do is Braveheart then. Start it off with Mega Ice, so Chris might actually learn this ability, and then Blade Rush. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that hell total, chat. Well, if we wanted to buy another Super Staff, something tells me... <laughs> I've got an achievement for that. Your teamwork is impressive. I commend you for having come so far. Damn right you should be impressed. I really... Okay, chat. Put, place your bets. How much do you think I leveled in a boss multiplier of 50% on 100% Geoprism? Huh? Where's the usual pathetic excuse of yours? Demons, angels, humans? Rather than learn about each other, they use words such as good and evil to differentiate themselves. That is the sad truth. Wait, that reminds me of something Master Lamington once said to me. However, through our battle, you have proved to me that regardless of our differences, all creatures can become one in spirit. As long as you bear that in mind, I am sure you can overcome any ordeal. Ah, uh, Prince, something's definitely wrong. Midboss is acting all serious. Y yeah, this must be a trap of some sort. Who are you, really? 20 levels, interesting guess. <laughs> As I said, I am the Dark Adonis. Also remember, chat, Kirk is now getting 22 attack per level. So think about how much that is when Braveheart can add up to 100% more attack. Keep that in mind, chat. Farewell! <laughs> so, what was that all about? Beats me. I think Mr. Midboss was trying to encourage us in his own way. He is a true rival indeed. Oh, the beauty of friendship between rivals. Were we all listening to the same conversation? Master Lamington, Master Lamington, we have an emergency. What is the matter? That traitor Flan has begun her invasion of Celestia, leading a battalion of demons! You know what the nice thing about that fight was, chat? I got to build up Kirk's proficiency more, <laughs> just attacking so many times. The day has finally come. But he probably also got a 5% bonus on top of that. We are prepared to intercept the demons! I will lead the troops myself, with your permission, of course. Very well. I shall leave the matter to you, but I want them captured unharmed. Do you understand? Yes, sir! Captured? Nonsense! I will kill them amidst the confusion. It is only a matter of time before I become a god. And that is when I, Vulcanus, shall establish absolute peace in the universe! Hi, chat. Let's see. Moment of truth. Oh no, Kirk might have gained a couple of levels, chat, from level one. <laughs> just, just a couple more. Yeah, so, oh, we're, we're, I think we're good. We basically trained another Laharl. Just don't, don't mind me, chat. Yeah, I mean, look at his stats. He actually has more attack than Laharl does. <laughs> this, oh, that's, that's embarrassing. Holy. <laughs> Start playing the Hideyoshi theme, Kirk. You're, you're ready to take over Laharl's job. Damage equals real. <laughs> Did you see your money total? <laughs> oh no. Well, that was a fantastic level up. Sorry, Laharl. We don't need you anymore. Yeah, welcome to your new protagonist. We just need to get your proficiency up. Like, that's the only thing holding you back. Like, keep in mind, like, he doesn't have Hurricane Slash, which is like the boss killer. But like, wow. Imagine if he just got another 5% to his stats with this weapon. So, yeah, I'm not really worried about his hit total anymore, Chad. I think we're good. And his defense is actually not too terrible. 
So he's a bit less HP than Laharl, but Laharl is also 16 levels higher, so whatever. I imagine Kirk gets 20 HP a level, given how, what we did earlier, so getting another 320 health, he'll more than Laharl with his current rate. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So anyway, yeah, I got an achievement for that. I don't know if it was for beating the story or just absolutely murder stomping that one enemy. Not sure, honestly. Yeah, we can now purchase new weapons if I want to. Probably do. Well, given that we're about to lose Laharl, let's do one bill with uh, expensive items. Please win. What? How much did I lose by? Hi, chat. Now, okay. <laughs> Hold on a second. Who is the... Who, oh, no. Who voted against us that we failed? Is that it? Lose the, how did we lose the vote? Is the last two just like enough to equal? That sucks. Chat, they're only level 32. I'm so done with them. Listen. Listen, Kirk, Kirk needs his upgrades, okay? Like, come here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how I lost that. I It looked like it was 119 to 20 at one point. Whatever. But needless to say, it does not matter what they do to Kirk. So, one thing that was mentioned before on stream, you could technically throw weaker uh, senators that are against you into stronger enemies that are for, and just remove them from the battle. But I think we're just going to actually honestly kill them rather than reset because it saves time. Not that I need the XP or anything else, I just don't feel like resetting. That's <laughs> what so it comes down to, chat. Listen. We're building Kurt's proficiency. That's all that matters right now. That was so dumb that that failed, honestly. Ridiculous. I know. Alright, so, so if we have 165, or if we have 1.65 mil, we can have a weapon as strong as the one Kirk is using. To give you an idea of how strong that item was it gave for free, we got about pretty close to 2 million in value from just a story reward. So chat, if you're wondering why I picked sword, getting a free 2 million item, kind of kind of strong. A little, little strong. A little teeny bit. I don't think there's any other interesting drops in here. I could just buy these healing items for now. Yeah, hero belt doesn't really matter. Like, I could get defense, but like, why? Right, chat? No, thank you. Um, does anybody else that needs any power leveling? I mean, that that was like the only real spot I have noted in my notes for power leveling. So we got Kirk out of the way to get that. So instead of taking Laharl to 100-something, which is how I ended the game last time, uh, off stream, uh, we'll, we'll give most of the experience to Kirk. See, so yeah, you can imagine how disgusting Laharl's stats were with the merging. Um, I'm not sure if I can feed a kill to Imperameter. Uh, not without getting a Super Staff. Glad you managed to catch that. We'll get some Rest Kirk. Yeah, I'd have to get like one of these. I think I'm going to try to hold out for an item for an Parameter, and I'll have one Super Mage, and then Chris will probably be our backup mage. And then from there we can figure out what to do. Because at this point, Kirk doesn't need to be fed, fed kills. I could technically feed the kills to other characters. But it requires me to get at least... Actually, let's, let's double check. How much do I specifically need in order for an Parameter to become Star Mage? Because I'm thinking... Parameter might upgrade first, and then Chris follows after. Might make more sense. 
can't see. Let me use this so I get an idea of how much we need. Oh, I love I can pick up genius level increase. So technically I can have a super Laharl if I want to, but I don't. Look at that. So we could get 25 stats a level, which is not bad. Need somebody else that can transmigrate. Do you have anybody else that can? Oh. I don't actually. Hmm. I need a character to see how much I need. No we're, we're gonna do chat. I need to see how much we need to get. I'm going to move Kurt forward in the promotion exam. Which unfortunately he loses whenever he levels up, which is whatever. So once Kirk's able to transmogrify, that'll let me know how much I need in Parameter to gain. His Parameter with six stats, as a, as a reminder, would get 30% bonus. So instead of it, instead of a wand adding 500 to him, it adds 800. And the more he casts spells, and he's going to be spamming them basically constantly, the stronger he's going to be as a backup character. But the downside is, unless he is something like Star, he's not going to have generic damage that can win against the enemy. I'm going to promotion exam again just because I want to see the prices. Because I, I don't want to over XP in the next stage. I forgot Laharl can't check it. Technically, I could have reloaded a save and done it, but I probably need to do this in Etna mode regardless. This is fine. Oh, we learned Hurricane Slash finally. That'll be useful. Alright, so for Kirk's character... Another promotion. One more. That means he must be rank 3 with sword, which is good. The Kirk just got another 5% in stats for existing. That's always good. We eventually need to level Hurricane Slash, but Blade Rush doing more damage is always nice. Let's use Hurricane Slash here to level it a bit more. Yeah, you can see they're like physically not able to hurt him. This is kind of embarrassing. Alright, with that out of the way, for Kirk's character, not that I want to level him right now. How much does it cost to get a mage? <laughs> I love how I'm not going to bother with those other characters. If you were to do this, you need exactly 400. Okay. That's like five kills between now and the end of the game. And I don't necessarily need to have it by then either. Hmm. Okay. We have a goal. The Laharl still has better AoE than Kirk does, but Kirk's damage is out of control. Target confirmed. Proceeding as ordered. <laughs> are these your fellow Celestians? Yes, but they are full-fledged angels. I don't think they're here to give you a warm welcome back, though. Angel Trainee Flan. By order of Archangel Volcanus, you are to be executed for treason. Wait! Your objections are meaningless. You are a traitor and must be executed. Please let me see the Seraph. I know he will straighten everything out. Request denied. We were given no such orders. Our orders are to execute Angel, Trainee, Flan, and all that assist her. I beg you! Listen to me! Flan, don't waste your breath. Yeah. These morons haven't listened to a word you've said. I... I... I can't fight! What happened to all that determination of yours? If you're just gonna give up, then why did you bother to come? You committed treason by finding locks on the Overlord of the Underworld, pretty much. Harley, you're being too harsh on her. Jennifer's right. As a defender, I cannot tolerate such treatment of a lady. 
It's okay. Laharl is right. I thought I had made up my mind. But once I faced the reality of the situation, I... No. I can't be like this. I'm sorry. I'm all right now. Thank you, Laharl. Just don't waste my time with any more talk of giving up, or else I'm out of here. Oh, no. Not that I did betray you. I understand. Tales of... Then let's hurry up and kick some angel butt. Tales of Eternia strikes again. Okay. You have demonstrated resistance. The use of deadly force is authorized against all opposition. Hey, Chan, are you ready for one of the worst gimmicks? Be my guest. Show me what you've got. The battle has begun. Our task is nearly complete. Yes, we've made all the... We made all them come all this way, without the slightest explanation. We will surely be punished for our actions. <laughs> I've already received my punishment. But it's for that reason that the future is now in their hands. I should be thankful. Will they prevail? I don't know. It's all up to them. Here we go, chat. Are you ready? Every tile's warp. All right. It makes a comeback for some reason at this stage. Hell yeah. Oh, Super rare staff. You're too far in the bonus pool for me to get realistically. Um. Damn, I can't even do anything. They're like too far from me. I might still have Laharl do some damage while I can. This area just kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna have him chip out some of these people. Then I'll have... I guess Gordon try to hold him. Die. Die. Ooh, that's such a good lineup. Where did Laharl go? Oh. I mean, Laharl can basically solo everything. The question is, can I get... Ooh. Why is your health total so high? Well, that's not good. I was gonna say, I have Kurt kill a couple of you, but... Maybe I could try to... Deal it with parameter. Uh, hopefully, this puts them out of range. We'll see, though. I don't mind having one deep play. So again, we're raising everybody's magic, so even if we don't use them for their intended purpose... Damage here. Okay, good enough to one-shot that. Let's protect Kirk by using a low-level character. Then have Laharl just finish whatever I can. I could get rid of the warps. Might not be the worst thing to go for, honestly. Ooh, they reach way Pray. further than I thought. Die. Die. You know what? One of our mages survived. Kirk's in a very awkward position. Hmm. Um. Like, Laharl can't die. Kirk can take, like, a hit or two. Prefer he not die here if we can avoid it. So he can still level on them, which is funny. Could protect him within parameter slash Chris. Ah, 
Yeah, so I'm reducing the overall number of enemies. I'm gonna put in some random people to maybe save the day. Let's have Rogue 9 randomly here. Maybe I can grab the characters later. Pray, die. I think that was like almost best case scenario right here. Might be able to get a kill or two here. There we go, still getting kills. Protect Kirk. I mean, this is kind of working. Now there's not that many targets left. I think this is actually fine. Because there's only three, right? That shouldn't matter. Die. Pray. Oh, Rogue Nine actually survived. Although he might have been crushed. Oh, he got crushed right at the end. Rogue Nine actually is strong to tank. It's funny. Um. Hmm. Well, end our turn. This gimmick is so terrible, chat. Gosh. Didn't quite get the kill. Very close. Look at that chat by four damage. Damn, we need our proficiency up. Oh, I can end the warp effect. I think I do want to do. We're giving some experience to Laharl, but this is fine. Pray. There we go. Kirk earn earning that mana. Joke's on them. I'm gonna go in here. Hmm. I'll give this to a mage if I want to. Guess I should. There we go. Now I can teach Giga Ice to Chris later. So that's useful. So forcing them to level is not the worst thing ever. I don't know where this character is going. They're going on a magical journey. Okay, any other magic proficiencies I can improve on here? Fortunately, our good mages did explode earlier. She's really good at buffing magic users, so I could just have these characters repeatedly magic buff each other. You know what? I survived a spell. I'll take that. Just making sure we weren't getting bonus XP. Okay, we gotta keep improving Kirk's proficiencies, because he needs a lot of proficiency. We need to get him at least to five at some point. So the sooner we can, the better. Do we get another enemy weapon? Um, technically, we can see how strong it is by equipping it there. Is there anybody that should be using a sword but isn't? How does Enna do with swords, by the way? B rank? Hmm. I'm almost wondering, Chad, if it's worth just giving her that. Oh, sword, you're so silly. So we're almost two-thirds of the way to unlocking the other item. Which would be nice, but probably still won't happen even with Edna mode. Once we get level 999 monsters, we will get it for sure. Ooh, if we could get more teachers on that, that'll be the weapon that we want. Okay, so sadly we can combine them into a super enemy to get more items. But if we combine them again, we might be able to get a kill with our mages. I think we're going to look to try to get a kill with Imperimeter and Orcris on this stage. Let me check the stage gimmick real quick. 
Uh, this shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> it's been a while, Flan. Master Volcanus! What? Don't tell me he's an angel! You've got to be kidding! No matter how you look at it, that's a face of a villain! True! You look so evil, it's a pity that you're an angel! Silence! How dare you look at my glorious face and call me a villain! Angel trainee Flop! To conspire with demons to wage war on Celestia is... <laughs> ...an unspeakable sin! Not only that, but you have armed innocent angels! You deserve nothing short of death! I, the Archangel Volcanus, shall carry out your sentence! Please, Master Volcanus! I'm only here with a question for the Seraph! Quiet, traitor! It disgusts me to even speak to you! Master Volcanus! Why? Why am I a traitor? Stop pretending to be innocent! We all know that you are conspiring with demons so that you can take over Celestia! And on top of that, you trick that stupid Defender of Earth into fighting for your cause! How despicable! I mean, don't you trust those, uh... purely white eyes, the scowl, and the ridiculous mustache? It is our responsibility as angels to destroy demons, the root of all evil, and watch over the helpless human race, to renounce your sublime duty and join forces with these foul demons is simply unforgivable. Hey, who the hell do you think you are? Wait, please, let me handle this. Oh, Flan, you're like level 8. You can't handle anything. Master Volcanus, I pity you. Oh, what? You believe that demons are evil, that humans are helpless, and that you alone are right. But I know that demons can show kindness, and humans can be brave. Without seeking proof, you have allowed your judgment to be colored by prejudice. Let her try, though. I want to see her fail. Damn. Isn't the evil which you speak of in your own heart, Master Volcanus? What? Well said, Juan. Yeah, you hit it right on the nose. Right on. Me, 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 me. I am deeply moved. I see that the Defender's spirit has awakened within you, too. From this day forward, you shall be known as a Defender of Earth. Humans can show kindness, humans can be brave, and robots are superior at all. The robot love is strong in the chat. You, you, evil in my heart. Never. I am only doing what is right. And I will prove that to you, here and now, with your death. Go, soldiers! Kill them all! Oh. Did we talk to the NPCs? I got excited to get the sword. I don't know if we did. Ooh, this is, uh... This is a lot of annoying enemies to kill. I think we could group them together, though. did a lot of damage, but they did hurt themselves. I believe that's what we call in the business a good old checkmate chat. <laughs> chat got him, right? Got him. <laughs> Fools. Alright, let's get a little buff, though. These are weaker characters. Yeah, Lahar will barely survive that. Let's bait them to go over here.
So again, even the mages that are not getting experience are getting a ton of weapon experience. Which is good, because that means we get more and more range. Ooh, nice triple. Right, chat? What a nice triple. Look at that, almost 3,000 attack when buffed. Disgusting. Hmm. Don't want them to go... Um... Might have Rogue Nine combine a couple characters here. That arrow range is gonna be annoying. I should survive this though. Oh, literally everybody moved. I was not expecting that. Hmm, that's kind of annoying. Right, Chad, I thought I had more time here. Well. Uh... At least I could say Kurt got some mana. Because he'll need it for later. Hmm. Do I do a Sacrificial Laharl? I think I do. It's like one space shy. Although what I could do... Weaken them really, really far and then grab them with one character. I think I could do this. And then when Edna dies, Laharl will get healed for free. That's actually genius. Pray, die. Yeah. 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 Right, chat? Genius tier. So smart. Although you getting on the defense up kind of sucks. Hmm. Need to trim them a little bit. The downside is that they all moved, so I didn't get, like, a good setup turn on them. Let's try to protect Kirk. the other characters a little further away. Any bonus XP here? Oh, bonus healing. That's not what I want. Right, chat? That's not quite what I want. Right, that was a good call to level up for Braveheart before doing that. Should be able to merge a couple more for a big kill without losing too many people. Die. Yeah, Kirk is mostly immune to them now, thanks to his defense. He actually is more than Laharl does, which is kind of funny. Die. Kirk here for more defense. Put Laharl here for a distraction. Let me do a light heal here. Die. Perfect. He's he's barely not killing them. There we go, chat, right? Look at that. Oh, that is so good for us. We don't have many people to combine though. I gotta be careful how I do this. Um...
Hmm. Probably shouldn't have killed the space guy, because I actually wanted his throw range. I don't have Etna either. I think I could combine them into two groups. I don't think I can make a super soldier off of this, which is fine. Perk leveled yet again, chat. Nice, right? Nice. So we just need to survive like one more turn over here. Meter might be able to steal a kill here. How resistant are they? Not that resistant. Hmm. And weak to fire? Ooh, I think next turn I know what to do. Hopefully they don't just melee me. That would really annoy me. So thanks to defense up, I'm not too worried about that. Hmm. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> All right, Chad, this is gonna be real interesting. Um, I don't think this will kill. But we gotta go for something here. No matter who gets it here, I think it's huge. Alright, that's fine. That should be a lot of hell. So we fed Kirk more experience, which is not a bad thing, because he does need it. But we need. So it looks like a parameter can kill them. It's just a question of do I do it before I get the super staff or not? Oh, we actually qualified for the Pravda necklace. Hmm. Actually, this changes things slightly, chat. We're getting closer to Testament, but this is still pretty good. Gladiator Physician. Gladiator is really good, but I need something other than Gladiator here. Because that's actually a big upgrade for Kirk, and then that can also be an upgrade for Imperimeter, depending on how it rolls. They'll take, like, double teachers, even. Come on. <laughs> Alright, Jack, come on. This could be so good for us, actually. Come on, no, no hit bonus. That's fine. Oh. <laughs> we don't care about defensive stats. Hit resist, no. Right, chat? No. Come on. You do a little better. Only 20 in Gladiator? Come on. It did get a lot of int, though. Hmm. Maybe? It's so, like, borderline. I'll take it for now, I guess. We're using this currently, so we can upgrade it to this if we want to. Not a big jump for us, but for Imperimeter, this should be a ridiculously high jump. Yeah. Right, chat? That's kind of a... Uh... That's kind of an important jump that we just attained. Now I think Imperimeter could legit just get kills. Um... The Star Wars bonds with these other characters. Risking anything here? It's already. 500 HP. Um. I guess, funny enough, depending on who it's on, that could be useful. Oh, that's right, they get reduced health. Oh, you know who we could put it on, actually?
could put it on uh, Rogue Nine if I want a tanky character. Kind of thinking it. I don't want to put it on Gordon because of stuff that will happen later. Um, I could technically put it on her, but that's just kind of neutral. I guess that's kind of weird. Sure, why not? They're not going to survive, I don't think, but that's fun. It's not like the best possible thing we could have rolled, but it's good enough, I think. Because we don't really benefit from the other stats, whereas like a parameter getting this would be huge. Because our base in isn't, like, all that great. I think that was, like, almost a 30% increase in stats. That'll help significantly. Also, I really hope I did not accidentally kill anybody. Okay, good. <laughs> just something I have to check every now and then, chat. I'm just like, you know what? Let's make sure we talk to these other people. If humans came here, that means we could go there, right? Hmm, now that you mention it. Alright, so technically we've unlocked another bill by talking to that character. Huh? What's that on the ground? We found the testament. Oh, you get a free testament here? The king used to use this, but why is it here? No one who knows how to get in here. Who could have? It can't be. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Did I just get a super item that I forgot about? Wait a minute. Testament is like broken, chat. Hold on. Hold on, chat. This changes things. <laughs> Hold on, I forgot this dropped. I don't think I got this when I was playing earlier. Whoops. Well, we are 100% resetting on that testament. Testament is one of the best items in the game, by the way, chat. Yeah, that's that's the thing that I kept mentioning the 300 kills on. I did not realize this just dropped from story purposes. That is a massive attack increase, depending on what it is. And it could potentially also be legendary, which is kind of insane. You know, if this was anything other than defense, I would take it. Like, just to give you an idea, chat, like, if I put this on in Parameter right now, he's almost at a thousand in without having even a good staff. <laughs> like, like, and Parameter can actually out damage Kirk if this rolls well. If this rolls like double teacher or double gladiator, I will take it. Or at least has like a high enough bonus. I might rearrange my items to get this. This is kind of like a game-changing, strong, broken item. This is the goal of every nurse drop that you ever get in any game. Why are we getting, like, the world's worst? This is so sad, chat. The worst part is we have to sit through more dialogue than normal. Right, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna move this. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna use our 10,000 heal. As, as funny as that would be, let's not let's not use our 10,000 heal on a random encounter. Come on, do a little better, right, Chad? Just a little, little teeny bit. Come on, something amazing. If this is also a rare item, the game is over. Just just FYI, Chad. If that's legendary, that saves me needing to do. Uh, three entire chapter map thing equivalency and also leveling people. I need to dive into a testament at some point to get a item god killed. Game, you've got to be kidding me. Come on, you can do better. <laughs> right, chat? Please just do better. Come on. Oh, yeah. So, I didn't even have this factored in for Etna mode. But now that I know it's here... So sad. Could you imagine, chat? Could you imagine if that was like actually good stats? <laughs> Just like, man, it rolled a 90 and 250s. Could you imagine if that was like Gladiator? I just get a 10% increase on my overall stats on my best character. <laughs> or it'd just be the, the biggest int boost of all time. <sighs> it's only one though. So if a parameter were to wear this out of curiosity, he's almost at a thousand. 
We we could do better than just one level 40. We've seen they go up to 90. We'll we'll settle for like a 70 in something that we want. A 40 is just insulting by itself. I'll take two 40s as well. I don't feel like I'm being that greedy with it. We're just rolling terribly. That technically satisfies what I was talking about. I guess... You know what? Nah. We can do better. <laughs> you know what, Chad? I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, well, actually, It wasn't 70, to be fair. It was 56. It's like, it's almost usable. If that was Gladiator, I would have taken it. I don't need it to be high on Gladiator. Damn, if that 81 was any int or attack, we would have been done again. As I said before, I don't need it to high roll. I just need it to not low roll. <laughs> so technically, as I said before, it could end up rare, which buffs all the stats more than the base amount. But I doubt we'll see it with my resets. We seem to have absolutely atrocious luck, so I don't think we'll ever see a legendary of this item <laughs> until we do a certain thing to get it later. Technically, if this came legendary, this would save me as I said before time later. But the odds of me getting it seem to be incrementally smaller and smaller the more we go. You've got to be kidding me. That 81 was a teacher. It would have been over. I mean, I'll take Magic Resist. Magic Resist is not a terrible stat to have. Because there's going to be a lot of things that poke us at a distance. Come on. Come on, PSO style luck. You can do it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> really? That's a marksman and not attack? Really? Right, chat? Like, seriously, is this happening? I'm so sad. I'm contemplating if I want to keep it. It is Arms Master. Ugh! Feels so bad to keep this, but I'm kind of thinking it. What do you think, chat? Should I just keep this or reroll? Because we could get much better. But I, I'm getting annoyed at the rerolls. <laughs> Arm Master at least means I could get proficiency up. That's one of the ones that's kind of like it's close enough. I kind of wish it didn't have HP up though, since I don't care about that at all. I'll leave it on until I see what chat says. Let's see though. Now that would make Laharl's attack a little better. If I were to do that. Spin in circles. Are, are there any other fun surprises I should know about over here? You've changed a lot, doing things for others. Shut up, I only do things for my own sake. Going to Celestia here. Bring back some gifts for us. Idiot, it's not a vacation. Grinnies, we're talking about multiple endings. Huh? Endings to what? <sighs> I'm gonna reset it. I'm gonna be real with you, chat. I'm like, uh, uh, we could do so... The, the peak of how good this could be is ridiculous. See, so yeah, I think we managed to get the, the bonus thing because that happened. Only a lone manager. That is so sad. On the plus side, I'm getting faster at the menu, eh? Tape perfection, dude. I don't know if we'll get the legendary. It would be nice, but we're at the point where I might give up on it. I'll do a few more. Oh, that was absolutely worth re-rolling. <laughs> right, chat? Okay. Gladiator Arms Master? Okay. Okay. That is a big stat increase for us. Look at that stat jump, chat. So we should be tanky enough to survive multiple hits now with Kirk. Which is very rare that we actually have defense in this game, but... We did it! We, we're gonna take a whole lot less. That means I can remove one of these for XP up on Harl. We still have XP up on other things, right? Yeah, we have it on Sophia's Mirror. Though that kind of was worth it? So that means I can afford to leave Kirk around for multiple turns. Plus the extra 400 health does matter. Now that our defense has increased by that much. Obviously if we could get multiple Testament, it would be amazing. So yeah, we're basically wielding a bad item here. Just need a little more money. 
I think you might be able to get a super spear as well, but I never verified if that's true. If you have, like, high spear proficiency and talk to Loginus, I think he might give you something. But, uh, we're not gonna bother with that. So yeah, we got a massive increase of stats. This should make the final part of the game much easier on us. We're gonna heal with all that extra HP we have. So we need 106 deaths to start going towards another testament. Yeah, that was a much better drop. And getting uh, faster proficiency means we just get faster stat up, so just kind of win-win. We could go to the Colosseum, which is going to be interesting. Something's not right. Huh? What do you mean? We've made it this far, but still haven't seen any sign of the Seraph. That's true. If the Seraph is not involved in any of this, then why hasn't he come out and saved Flaunt? So, you're saying the fact that he hasn't shown up can only mean... I understand your point. But, I'll believe in Master Lamington until the very end! Jeez, you're stubborn. Don't tell me it's because of love again. Yes, it is! Absolutely! To have faith in someone you respect, that's love! Oh, what a love freak. Well, I don't trust the Seraph myself, but I guess I can tag along. Edna! I'll help you, Flan. I believe in you. Me too. I trust in your love. Beep, beep, blip, beep. I will accompany you too. Miss Jennifer, Mr. Gordon, Mr. Thursday. This is ridiculous. You guys are so naive. Hmm? Does that mean you're leaving, Prince? F fool How can I turn back now when I haven't seen the Seraph? I'll go on even if it's by myself. Laharo. Everybody, thank you so much. I'm glad that I met all of you. I have harmed my own kind. No matter how this journey ends, I will receive severe punishment. But I have no regrets. I was able to meet such wonderful companions. Hi, right, chat. You ready for another gimmick? Opera glasses? Not bad. So we can't walk through any of these spaces, and it's oops all snipers. Chat, how cute. No. <laughs> yeah, let's get Kirk out here. He's pretty tanky, he should not get one shot. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. You're weak to fire. Oh, but your resistance is insane. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think I'm getting a kill with that character. I might be able to kill the archers, though. Their resistance is kind of mediocre. But that one, no way. Right, chat? 1,254 resist? Yikes. Only they were a little differently positioned. So close to getting a free kill to somebody. Did a lot of damage. And I think the way they lined up, I think, also stops me from blade rushing, unless I'm at the max distance. Or maybe it will still work. Come on. Are you really not going to let me diagonal throw? It's unfortunate. Hmm. I don't know if this is going to work if I do this. 
First thing that happens, I just quickly reset. I don't know if it'll let me go on the base. Okay, it will. Technically, he could kill them from here. Which is good, because we're gonna need to. Ooh, we're at four proficiency now. That's actually huge. <laughs> I like the enemy has given up trying to hit Kirk. They're like, oh, I don't want any of that. <laughs> right, chat? They're like, oh, I don't know about that. Oh, it won't let me through there. Can you imagine, though, if you could do this and just flick through? It would have been amazing. So unfortunately, we have a very annoying passageway to get through. Oh, there's a no entry tile there. I couldn't even see it. That would explain some things. Die. Ouch. Their long range magic attacks make me sad. This is not that good. Hmm. Maybe? Might be able to sneak a kill in here, chat, real quick. This is a big damage multiplier. This might kill. Yeah, there we go. Good job, Imperameter. Show that enemy what up. Mage power. So you can see even without, like, an endgame weapon, he could still basically half help somebody full screen. So just imagine when we get actually Yay! good weapons. Honestly, I just might have them all prep it up. So he's learned Mega Wind permanently, which is nice. I can have them focus on magic boots. Oh, that's not the one I thought I had. So that way, if I want to have two really strong spellcasters, I can basically have two people constantly magic boosting them to max with a backup mage. Again, this is just all for proficiency. I wish I could cycle through to other characters while I'm here, but I don't think it'll let me. Okay, so rank 5, rank 5, rank 6, rank 3, rank 4. Most people are pretty strong right now. How did that not kill? I have little Harl as bait, as bait here. Let's see what happens. Okay. Checkmate, I guess. Right, chat? So Kirk is strong enough to just keep hitting through them. He just needs his proficiency higher. So this is super good for us. Ooh, we're getting more advanced patterns for magic boosts, which means we might be able to have up to three super mages. Like I could have two mages constantly maintaining magic boost, and then three just doing spell blasts. And the more they spell cast, the easier Etna mode will become. See if they finally move. Wow, that did actually nothing. That was kind of embarrassing. So close, chat. So I'm liking our ability to have a mage strategy as a backup. 
Given that I can target at least three mages, which I think makes it worth it. Should probably get more healing items in here. Or I can have uh, one of the other mages learn heal at some point, because that would be pretty overpowered. are actually pretty susceptible to Imperameter as well. Honestly, I might just throw Imperameter over there. Once we uh, make sure he's all magic up. Go, go, magic and Imperameter. Delete the enemy. Get a couple throwers. I only have room for one. What does magic at? 1400 right now? Oh, nice. You can see from his range... He, since he used his attack so often, chat, he's plus two range on his attacks. So you can see his one, two, three, and then I can diagonal it. So he's getting really close. I mean, I might as well just magic boost himself to build his meter. You can move the other characters to maybe get a chain throw going. And have Chris just repeatedly spam stuff towards him, maybe? Let's see. Leave Frost here, maybe, for the other thing. Laharl over here. This guy at a range. Please give me my skill usage back. Are you really going to make me walk all the way over here just to go kill them? Oh my gosh. Why? Now I can keep the magic boost up by doing this. And what I could do is... Something like this. Just want to make sure, where is your attack range? Not that great. You might be able to hit me with a skill that I can't see. Wow, almost one shot from there. Hopefully they can't hit Imperameter here. I can try to avoid that by moving him like this. The Parameter can almost one-shot from here with a mediocre weapon. Die. Die. Ooh, they tried to counter war with Kirk? Big mistake. <laughs> you go, Imperameter. Giga fire her out of this world. Goodbye. Another level up for Imperameter. What's his mana total at right now? 175? Not bad. So he needs to kill three more? And he could become a super mage, potentially? So right now he has access to fire and mega wind. So he has some weakness coverage. Chris will have access to ice and fire. I just need to make sure to keep using Chris a little more. And then I think we got everything we need to beat any other mode. I'll have two mages and potentially two melee characters, because I can level up Rogue 9 to become a pure melee. Right now he's very tanky, so we can hold on to a couple hits. Die. You know what? The parameter is so much resistance that didn't kill him. That's, that's the important thing. Absolutely want to magic boost him. Hmm. What were you weak to? Ice. The only thing I don't have. I'm use Gansel and the Red Mage to move in Parameter out of range. I should.
should be out of range here. Probably heal Laharl just in case. I hope this confusion goes away at some point. I could also delete the no entry, but I feel like that would result in me dying very quickly. Oh. It just knows, chose not to attack. Okay. Well, time for Chris to uh, magic buff. Also get your magic buff in here since it's been more than one turn. So can I just cheese them because they can't see me? <laughs> hey chat, dumb strats 101. Classic. Oh, they move forward finally. Okay, they punished me finally. That's fine, we can get revenge. Ooh, too tanky. Nice, let's hide this character. We're gonna have Chris get the kill, I think. If I'm able to. Oh, you know what I could do? I could do this to start buffing Chris. Because Chris will be able to use the ice ability of Frost, and that should kill the enemy, despite the level difference. Let's... Do I have one more mage? I don't. I killed them. Is Chris's in at... Uh, it's not quite high enough. I need to do just like a teeny tiny bit Icicle more damage. Disaster. Icicle disaster indeed. Let's do this. Rick is now able to come this way. He could clean this up. Question is... Oh, I can lift the enemy. If I need to. Because I don't care if Laharl dies anymore. I'm going to do something like this. Take advantage of this with Frost. Just barely can't do it. Oh wait, you can use Mega Ice. So I can't use Giga Ice yet from them, but I can use Mega Ice, which actually matters. I believe in you, Chris. You could do this. Now, did Laharl die? He did not die. Hmm. Then we'll use a basic ice attack into Giga Ice. This should kill. Did the oh the the buff wore off. All right, we need to we need to have Chris lives. So let's move Chris out of the way. We're frost body block. There we go. We're gonna cut off the enemy. Protect Chris. <laughs> Operation Protect Chris. Now in full effect. In the meantime, we could kill these characters, because there's nothing they could do to Kirk at this point. Right, chat? Let's be honest. We're feeding our mages some experience. Die. That's Die. fine. You know what? Laharl somehow lived. We'll take that. You're resistant to fire. This could prove tricky. There we go. Chris got revenge for his pupil. Good job, Chris. Get that level 65 kill. I'm like nowhere near to help. Let's do Meteor Impact. Weaken them as much as we can. Wow, they actually ignored Laharl? Wow, that, that was rude and disrespectful, <laughs> right, chat? Ha! Could take a safety heal, because in theory we could game over here. Die. It's all down to Kirk. Come on, Kirk, you could do it. Ooh, that did some damage. I don't think that would have killed me, but I'm still glad either way. 
Gonna be a lot of hell, so I could buy all my healing items back. We can almost buy our super item. Let's see, are the glasses any good for in? Let's find out. Using plastic nose currently. Yes, that's a very small increase for impair meters in. But we'll take it. I'll leave Chris with Dark Rosary for now. Um... Sure, let's give try with bonus, I guess. We're like 100,000 shy. I didn't get to merge anybody because the map terrain was just so annoying. On the plus side, when we go to play the other stages, I don't think they're at least as initially as terrible as this. So I'll have an opportunity to actually upgrade. So we can see that our magic is actually not that bad, quote unquote. Naturally 70 in, I'd say. We're getting there, chat. We're at almost the final area of this one. Oh no, we are at the final area of this one. So there's only three more stages after this, chat. We are done with the game, believe it or not. Surprised that you made it this far. Not bad. Not bad at all. Everybody be careful. Whenever a villain appears and talks like this, there's always a trap. Who are you calling a villain? <laughs> this will keep your filthy mouth shut. Evil born from the darkness of chaos. Abide by the pact and annihilate my foes! Demon summoning? How can this be? Making a pact with demons is strictly forbidden by our law. Oh no, chat. Shark Man is here. Watch out. These aren't ordinary demons. Scan them, Thursday. Beep, beep, blip. Beep, immeasurable power and endurance. Danger, danger, danger. <laughs> I have enlisted these greater demons for an occasion such as this. They were eager to sign the contract when I told them that they could have the netherworld in exchange for your death. See, Prince? How many times have I told you to be a better role model for your subjects? Shut up! Now's not the time! <laughs> Enjoy fighting your own kind! <laughs> there you go, chat. Super hammy. Damn it! Even I can't take care of this many greater demons! What's the plan? Should we retreat? You think they'll let us retreat? But what else can we do? Come on! I don't recall having friends that lose their cool in front of their adversaries. Who is this? There you go, chat. Pretty question mark is here. You're... Hey, who the heck is that? I don't know. I don't think I've seen that pretty before. Hey, don't you recognize me? These eyes full of hope and resolution. The spirit that burns within me. And this bold and valiant stature. Who else could it be? It is I, Curtis. C Curtis? You mean that Curtis? That's right, Curtis, defender of Earth. But I thought you were with your family in heaven. <laughs> That's what I had hoped for, but I committed too many sins in my lifetime. I was given a different form to make up for what I did. I have returned to atone for my sins and to help my precious friends. I like the ooh fall by, oh, it's him. I felt the disappointment through the chat. Curtis. 
I had a choice. I, I'm sorry. It, it, it's just that you're so darn cute. I rushed here thinking you guys needed me, and this is what I get? Maybe I shouldn't have bothered to come. No, Curtis, I am grateful that you're here. Your words have rekindled the flame in each of our hearts. Right, everyone? Well, he went through all of that just for us. We can't give up now, can we? He's not even saying, of dude. Not. As king of the netherworld, I will show these demons who's in charge. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, Shark Man. We could potentially recruit Shark Man at some point. Curtis joined your party. The power of our friendship is increasing. I think we can do it. Technically, I could throw him into our base to capture him. Uh, am I supposed to find that reassuring? to worry about. Friendship power beats anything. Jeez. Anyways, let's do it. All right. Oh, let's see what Curtis's stats are. I don't even think I looked last time we got him. Oh, well, I got him off screen. Oh, he came with a rare item. I love the close-up of his image. I mean, his attack's actually decent. It's just... It really matter. So, I mean, they have a lot of health, which is kind of annoying. Could use him as a decoy. It's not the worst idea ever. Then I can have Laharl her in a very specific formation to make it easier. I think at this point I should just be able to Braveheart my brains out. So many mages, I think I can make this work. Let's apply one more brave heart next turn. But I also keep some magic boosts, which is nice. Man, if doing this gave XP, oh, we'd be we would be set forever, chat. Bring your beam. He has his other abilities, which is interesting. And for a monster, he does have a decent number of moves. Uh, let's weaken them a little. I'm assuming this won't kill. Let's observe what Pringer Beam looks like. The chat has not seen it. You're too slow. Okay, wounded them a little. Curtis winning you back. There you go. Alright, so we have a parameter super attack. I'm able to do a Giga Fire here. Oh, that range is extraordinarily good. I also could use Brave Heart on these two. Let's do Hurricane Slash into Hurricane Slash. This should kill. There we go. We're even giving it to Kirk too to make sure he gets more stats. And more proficiency. Once he hits rank 5, we're going to be in a good place. This is a reminder, Chad. Uh, we get Wind Cutter, which is going to be our long distance move, which is going to help a lot with clears. Wind Cutter Slayer will be nice eventually, which requires, I think, rank 10 or 8 or something like that. But rank 5 is the one that I'm looking for currently. Uh, let's pull in Parameter away from the fray a little bit. 
Nice diagonal throw. This hasn't done anything here. Let's have a magic buff then. Keep the buffs going. That hit a ridiculously far distance away, I'm not gonna lie. Not in a million years that I think I was in range of that. I have a fire attack here. I think I might go wound these enemies. Let's observe what this attack looks like. Nuclear fusion. So any little chip damage he could do is good, because I'd like to feed these kills, but these enemies are super tanky compared to what we're used to fighting. Hmm. We'll try doing magic boost times three. Her meter is at a high amount of magic. I should be able to stand here and hit with ice if I need to. I do something like this. Work. Definitely gonna giga fire. Giga fire again. Make a giga ice. And I could try to share the damage like this. Let's finish off with perk as needed. Wow, they actually did pretty good damage. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually really good damage. I was not expecting them to do that much. Hmm. I think Chris is gonna die to the shark. Thank you for the good luck. If there's anything I could do to stop this. It could do a lot of damage here, but not enough, I don't think. Her meter might be able to survive if I put him in the corner. I'm gonna move try also in the corner. Maybe he'll live. I'm trying to save Chris here by using Gordon. That's a good call, actually. Might be able to get this kill to Chris or in parameter. Wow, oh, Gordon actually survived that. Wow, oh, Gordon actually sur Gordon survived this? Really? What did they hit me with that I didn't die? Holy. Weak to ice, but they killed the ice guy. Oh, but Chris has ice. Okay, so what we could do is... Teamwork's make teamwork makes the dream work. So we're going to go ahead and use Mega Wind. If that doesn't kill, we're going to use Mega Ice. This should kill. There we go. Chris got the kill. Chris is out 140, and Parameter is at 175. So both of them are halfway to doing something that I need. And if Gordon lift up the enemy again, what am I thinking about? I guess we'll see what his ability looks like. Certainly an animation. <laughs> Try lift up Chris. Operation Protect Chris is in effect. Let's block the enemy from going further this way. Let's do... Do double hurricane slash. So that might put them in range for the mages to kill. Oh, murdered in parameter. Unfortunate. Weak to wind, huh? Oh, X 
expect that to actually kill. Well, Operation Stall for Chris is now in effect. Should block them off pretty well. This also let me build proficiency with uh, Kirk's character. On his E rank 5. Yes, he just hit it. Oh, but he didn't learn the ability. That's unfortunate. There we go. Alright, the enemy should not be able to get by me, but I'll do this just in case. Another 5% for stats, so 2400 versus 2100. Yeah, Kirk has finally completely surpassed Laharl. So I could reduce him by another 1000 or so, guaranteed. Move Chris back up here. Have Laharl cut off the passageway. I am so surprised he could reach you from there. Look how far you were. <laughs> I mean, fortunately, I've been stacking you with defense up, so you surprisingly didn't die to that. That's very silly, either way. What we're gonna do? We're gonna melee. We're gonna melee. And then I'm gonna use a spell. And then I'm gonna have Laharl pick up. I'm gonna give this kill to Chris. We did learn ice, at least. How did that not kill? Oh well, Kirk got it. That's fine, as long as it goes to Kirk. Other characters would be a devastation. Kirk is fun. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, was it? So close. Yeah, sure. You were about to run away when I got here. I, I, I only suggested a temporary strategic retreat. That's totally different from running away. Now, now. Let's just say that the power of our friendship brought us victory. This conversation's going nowhere. Let's move on. Right. We still have that villain to defeat. What's up ahead, Flan? Let's see. We're about to enter the Seraphic Sanctuary. Besides Master Lamington, only sentries and high-ranking angels are allowed inside. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Please, stay alert. There's no telling what Master Volcanus might do at this point. There's no need to be concerned. Who do you think I am? I am Laharl, the Overlord! Alright, so we're now literally final three stages of the game. So we're going to try to beat the game tonight. I think I have enough money, maybe, to get the Super Staff. I don't see myself buying another piece of equipment at this point. I don't need Stealth Cape. Sell that. Empire Fang is okay, but if I want to play with a monster, it's not going to be in this playthrough. So if this rolls really, really high, I could buy it. That would mean Imperameter could just one-shot everything. But it has to roll within. And I'm noticing I'm just a little bit shy in terms of cash. Okay. We'll we'll buy the uh we'll buy the super weapon next battle. In the meantime, let's just get a health increase. A chat's all, it is somewhat relevant to our playthrough. And technically we're raising the shop rank ever so slowly when you do that. Okay. Three stages left, and we just need to do too bad one. Hmm. So this is where the Seraph lives. I don't see much of value. Too bad. What was your reason for coming? Shh. Quiet. This is the Seraphic Sanctuary. Those without permission to be here must leave the premises immediately. Who are they? Angelic sentries. They will guard the Seraph at any cost. They are protected by a special force field, which is impervious to all forms of attack. That can't be. It must have a weakness. Analyze the force field, Thursday. 
Beep, beep, blip, beep. Analyzing force field, 20%, 55%, 90%. Analysis completed. It has no weakness. Invincible, invincible, invincible. What? That's not fair. It doesn't matter if there's a weakness or not. All we gotta do is blast them away with our power. Edna, we'll show these angels what we think of their force fields. Okay, Chris. That had no effect. Impossible. <laughs> Seems like it's a little too much for you two. Now it's our turn. Use the force. Jennifer, Thursday, let's show them how it's done. I don't think that'll do anything here. Okay, Gordon. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. Roger, Captain. Ultimate Defender Formation, Space Triangle. You're doing well, Kai. Formation attack isn't powerful enough either. Are they truly invincible? It's not time to give up yet. Don't forget that you have me on your side. Let's combine our defender spirits together. True ultimate, ultimate defender formation. formation. Plasma Quartet! Only they were this strong when we used them. You've got to be kidding me! It didn't even make a scratch. No, attacking separately won't do any good. We must all unite our hearts. Unite our hearts? That's right. Whether we're angels, demons, or humans, we all share the same feelings. And if we focus those feelings together, we can accomplish anything. How can you say something like that with a straight face? Laharl! All right, all right. So the point is we all attack at the same time, right? Then let's do it! On the count of three! One, two, three! Here we go, Chad, the super attack. Now, let our love and friendship unite! Galaxy, Galaxy Omega Star! Chad sending, sending power into the attack. <laughs> what the heck? I'm sorry, what? destroyed the force field we did it hey blonde did i hear something about love and friendship just now yes you did so what about it what do you mean what about it i keep telling you that i don't feel stuff like that <laughs> think whatever you want laharo what did you say uh prince now that their force fields are down isn't this our chance yeah We'll continue this discussion later. Don't forget. Okay, okay. <sighs> he hasn't gotten any less stubborn, that's for sure. <laughs> oh well. Like how they're just not going to talk about the giant golem demon thing that just basically held the universe in its hands. Like, okay. It's going to nod our heads and go, mm hmm. Ooh, 10,000 experience. I kill these. They are very tanky. But I think that's it, right? Just double checking. So just three of them. It's doable. Hmm. Wow, look at look at that attack stat now, chat. That's so disgusting. Only we had wind slash. 
to be able to hit with this. Uh, what we're going to do... We're going to put ourselves in a certain formation. Summon Try, Summon Frost, Gansel... I want to risk in Parameter. Well, let's not put any Parameter in the corner. Nah. I'll leave it in Parameter literally right in the middle. We'll do all the Brave Hearts. So we're basically in the home stretch of the game. We just gotta clear just a little more. How's some parameters wants mastery looking like? Ooh, rank 7? Hell yeah, chat. That is so good for us. Let's see how much this does. I hate that it won't physically let me move the character to aim the skill. I have to remember how many spaces I gotta move. It's so annoying. I tried moving bef with the skill thing versus moving ahead of time. Ah, and it did a decent amount of damage. Um, and end the turn. Let's see if I can pull him in a little more. Die. That's Die. fine. That's fine. So if I reduce their health now, I'll be in a pretty good position. And I might be able to give it to somebody else. So at least if I half their health now, this is less of a problem I have to deal with later. do is Chris closer. Let's see if it's damage Chris does by himself. Not a lot. What I'm gonna have to do is pick up for sure. Let's start buffing. Been a mistake to move in parameter. We'll see. Die. You know what? That was like the best possible outcome we could have hoped for, chat. <laughs> I'm being real with you. They walked up and attacked the only one I don't care if they hit. Like, okay. Let's go for a double magic boost here. They walked up and hit the person holding the other person because they were technically the weakest. I'm like, okay, like, you got me, <laughs> right, chat? Like, okay. I don't really care about that. Let's see what damage we could do here. Ooh. Chris, put, Chris putting some big damage on. If he's able to kill this, this will rank him up. So I guess that's the question between Imperameter and Chris. Do you prefer to potentially wait until you could get to the super mage? Or do you want to become the star mage early and get that early power buff? So I think what I want to do regardless here is combine these characters. If I can reach them. Just can barely not reach. I think I should be able to do this. If... Yeah, it should be fine. You okay with waiting? Okay, we'll give him Parameter the early power. Might be a little difficult to kill. I have Laharl. I'm actually gonna use Hurricane Slash here. I honestly don't think we'll kill without it. 
But before I do that... You have an ice move. You have wind. Fire is okay. Let's buff our magic while we can. Keep our damage basically at max. Then we go for Chris for the Weakener. No, no, no. We should Hurricane Slash first, then use Chris. If Chris kills, whatever. Otherwise, we try to kill with Mega Wind here. Or Big Fire, I mean. See if this works. Oh, so close. Sorry, Laharl. Better magic between these two, she does. Or... I can use her magic to start a combo. Not gonna do a lot of damage, but it just needs to do a little bit of damage. Let me use Giga Fire. Or use Ice, actually. Go ice into Giga Fire? Hopefully, this kills. Alright, next turn it should kill. Sorry, Kirk. Die for the cause. <laughs> I summon anybody else? No. We're in a magic boost again. Keep the buffs. Take a fire. Got ice. E? Oh, Chris got the go. That's fine. <clears throat> as long as it went to somebody. This should be a lot of hell, so now I can afford a super staff. And we got a little level bonus. Let's see how much that impacted the survivors. Chris already at 42. It's just a small jump for Chris. Parameter now at 28, not bad. Tries at 21. Ansel died at low levels. I should be able to afford it now. Uh, let's fish for a uh, super item. And the other thing I want to make sure... We're going to be paranoid. I did not kill anybody by accident. Okay, we're going to get the true ending, chat. We're very close. Let's see if we can improve damage. Ooh, do I purchase that? I think I gotta say no. It was tempting, it was good, but I think we could do better. Technically that's better, but I think we could do better. Alright chat, PSO time. We gotta harass the weapon shop owner until they give us something of interest. At least it's at the bottom of the menu. That is so sad, if all of that was in, I would have taken it. That was like almost close to perfection. The 600 int staff would just completely bust open the game, I think, at this point. Do so we have a super sword user? I could save up money to get a fist attack as like a backup melee character. So we still have potential. Plus, we might end up picking up an item playing the other difficulty. Because presumably the item drops will get better and better. Gotta be kidding me. We're not gonna see Gambitine anymore. There it is. Triple resistance? Boo! <laughs> Chat, we could have like a 600 int staff right now if the game stops messing around. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, the Saint staff actually is pretty good overall stats, but we're not looking for good overall. We're looking for the god least of god smites, right, Chat? I don't care about overall stats. Mana up. I think we could do better. I don't care about manager on a mage. I'm willing to take hit points or statistician or arms master or broker. Broker would actually be preferred because I'm going to be super broke after I purchase this. Come on, game. We're so close to the end. Just give us a super staff and we'll move on. That way I'll be all set for later. Come on. Stop being a tease. 
stop it. <laughs> right, Jack? Come on. You do a little better. It doesn't need to be like a three citizen one. It just. It's worse than what we had before. Okay, if it's at least 570 in, I will take it. How's that, chat? It. That can happen with only one. I'd prefer that not to happen. But if the game doesn't give it to us, what do we do? Yeah, see, that would have been 600 in right there. We're just getting teased. I wonder how it determines what items should go in, or what advisors go in there. You know what? 592? We're gonna say that's close enough, Chad. I don't think we're gonna get better tonight. Alright, so I think it's time for... a big upgrade. Chat, look at this. Look at the indifference. Oh my gosh. Is Chris using better? No, he's not. Wow. Holy. Well, the parameter is just gonna kill things. Look at that. We can make Chris do more damage, too. The hand-me-downs continue. Here we go. It worked out in the end, chat. What is in Parameter no right now? Magic boost, he has Mega Wind, so he has Wind Fire. I think this may be good enough. I guess I could rank him up. What's his level at? Oh, he needs one more kill. Oh, right chat. Oh, okay. We'll get, well, if something tells me I'm gonna get a kill, you know, just... <laughs> I need to get to 300, that's my magic number chat. So he'll, he'll get there. We'll make him get there. He's one chapter from the end of the game, but we will make him rank up, Chad, before the instant, before the game ends. Volcanus. Because you were just a trainee, I underestimated you. On the plus side, that means that Imperimeter can hit 2600 in right now, which is kind of silly. But now that you've defeated greater demons, as well as angelic sentries, I must recognize your strength. What's going on? He got so serious all of a sudden. Did he hit his head or something? Beats me. These angels, you never know what they're thinking. Um, were you referring to me too? Of course I was. Silence! Where are your manners? Don't you wish to know my true purpose? Your purpose? Huh, <laughs> I bet it's just some selfish fantasy. No, if he thought it was necessary to involve the Earth in humankind, then it must be something really important. You are correct. My goal is noble indeed. To become the absolute ruler of the entire universe. Absolute ruler? Aw, oh, gee, I'm disappointed. Like Curtis said, you're just fulfilling a selfish fantasy. No, 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 no. Heavens forbid. It is not for my own benefit. Peace can only be established in the universe under the watchful eye of an omnipotent ruler! Master Volcanus, that is your goal? But peace is not something that can be achieved by the will of one individual. It is only possible when everybody joins hands and works together. You are too naive, Blan. Such a pacifistic approach is doomed to fail because of these deceitful demons and foolish humans. That's not true! Demons and humans are capable of... Silence! What do you know about them? I am all too aware. Their cruelty, their vileness in their hearts. Oh no, Volcanus found Twitch. Master Volcanus... He's not gonna listen to you, Flan. Well, maybe he'll be more submissive with a little physical persuasion. Uh, Prince, I hope you didn't mean it that way. Thank you, Edna. The time has come. I will eliminate you and deal with the Seraph next, and then I will be a god from this day forth. I shall be known as Volcanus, the Peace Bringer. Another 10,000 experience. So, 
My only notes for this stage were take it really slow. Oh boy, chat. We have... We, we have a climb to end all climbs. Do you see how many enemies are in this stage? I hope I purchase more healing items. Let's find out. I'm going to need them. I probably should have put the monster belt away for more healing, to be honest. We might not have enough healing. Okay, well, one step at a time, I guess. The plus side, I have two different characters that can help me through this. We're gonna try to employ in Parameter and Chris for initial buffs. Let's try to risk Frost and try me. Just to make sure I have more Braveheart. Yeah, our Braveheart mastery is kind of off the charts with how many times we've cast it. Which is good. It means if I get a third melee, it should be pretty easy to buff them at this point. Archers are coming in. I mean, fortunately, I think Kirk can survive basically anything. We're gonna start moving forward. Laurel by his side. We're gonna move forward a space. We're going to maintain, I think, the magic buffs on ourselves if we're able to. We're definitely ready for the next round. Die. Okay. You heard it. She said die. Let's grant her wish. <laughs> right, chat? Wish granted. We're gonna move forward. So I have enough SP to be spamming this for quite a while, to be honest with you. The question is, how close am I to level- Ooh, Chris already at 6 by quite a bit. That is good. See how they react. Die. 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 Nice kill. Right, just making sure our magic's at max. Are they weak to fire? Neutral. It's fine. Let's see how much this does. Oh. Well, that answers that question, chat. Uh, well, I think a parameter can uh, go ahead and level up after this. I think we're good. Feels like I'm rushing it a little bit, but... I do want to get some sword mastery up on this character. them in a little bit more. Make Chris move up a little. Let's still put him way out of range. Oh, I can learn- Oh, I can use a Mega Fire with Chris right now? Oh, no. That's gonna be a big damage boost. Keep our buffs static on these characters.
sure Chris received some buffs too. So I'm a pretty good distance away. They shouldn't hit me, but we'll see. Die. Die. Yeah, that's fine. Die. That's also fine. Die. Die. You know what? Die. 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 Ooh, okay, that last one was bad. <laughs> I was gonna say, actually, that wasn't too bad, then that happened. I'm like, oh, that's unfortunate. But that's fine. We got everything we needed. Yeah, that we were completely fine up until that last one, honestly. The others didn't bother me that much. Die. Pray. Die. Oof. So rough. Yeah, them killing five people is kind of annoying. So what am I gonna do? We need a healer. Oh, you know who we could have? We could have uh Rogue Nine. I have one person left for buffs. I do not want to summon them yet. We got through, I think, the hard part, at least. We have just the boss left. A couple of stragglers here and there, but nowhere near as Die. ridiculous as that other set. Die. 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 Not strong enough to kill. That should work though. Move back a little. This is gonna be close. Pray, die, pray. We have enough healing. I just need to make sure I don't die, no matter how many times they say it can't give in. Am I not getting experience? I forget what the status effects are in this game, honestly. It's been so long since they've been relevant. Maybe that's saucy for getting XP? I don't know if there's a way to actually check what they mean without looking at a manual. We, we got through the die, die, die. Die. Just in case. Just gonna get rid of the status ailment here. Don't think that's the one I meant to use. Alright. We're gonna replace her with... Cancel. Out of range. That way I can at least get some buffs. Die. Oh. I forgot how far reaching that was. Hmm. This is about to become very interesting, chat. Let us. SP. Oh boy. You know what? That was best case scenario. He walked up and meleeed me of all the things he could do, chat. I am like, thank you, honestly.
We're very low on healing. But the difference is, is he's at half health. And we have a bait character he might try to target. We're going to leave there for now. About what I thought would happen. We're going to use the super heal on ourselves here. Let's back up and meteor impact. As long as we don't die here, this is fine. All right, chat? Like, okay. This is going to be so close, chat. Holy. Down to the wire. Health totals. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't game over me here, please. Oh, that's fine. Come on, Kirk. Take it home. Then one more hit. Fight is over. Get me out of here. Okay, I can't dispatch anybody else. Alright, there we go. Anyway, we have hell to go heal ourselves, which we'll probably need. Kirk earned that lone XP. How can this be? My gold, my duty, my dreams, they've all been shattered by these heathen! Have you still not realized it, Master Volcanus? You wanted to bring peace to the universe regardless of the means, even if you had succeeded. Could you call it true peace? Please consider us as an example, Master Volcanus. We have worked together to come this far with our hearts united as one. Can this not be considered the first step towards peace? <laughs> Enough of your idealistic ramblings. You thought your misguided words would convince me to repent? My beliefs cannot be shaken so easily. The game's not over yet. I'll just convince the Seraph to finish the job for me. You and he can kill each other. <laughs> Brat, we let him escape. Any normal villain would have been moved to tears by those words and begged for forgiveness. His conviction is strong. He won't change his mind so easily. He intends to start a fight between us and the Seraph. He'll probably make us look like the bad guys and tell the Seraph some horrible lie. How does he come up with all these dirty tricks? It's really too bad that he's an angel. Well, it looks like a battle with the Seraph is inevitable. Are you ready for it, Flan? Yes! A dot dot, chat. I don't know exactly what will happen, but I must tell Master Lamington everything that's on my mind. I know he'll understand. I see. Then tell him straight to his face. I will! Alright, so we are one stage away from beating the game. No, it's gone a bit later than usual, but we are that close. I'll do a safety save. Actually, before I do that, I did not accidentally kill anybody, right? Paranoia? Okay. We got this, chat. <laughs> so we're gonna clock in around 15 game hours-ish. And some of that was messing with items. Honestly, I'm, I'm mostly fine with our playtime. Um... Anything else? Oh, yeah, we need healing. <laughs> Wait a minute. The only thing we need, and then we're gonna go beat the game. Uh, how did we get an item shop rank up and no items to heal? Actually terrible. Get at least three more. I don't need, like, a ton of ton to beat the game. We must hit rank 10, which will probably take us into Edna mode. I don't think I want chocolate at this point. It doesn't heal enough. It needs to be flan for better. Okay, let's sort our inventory. Put this away. Put another flan in here. We have a lot of SP ups. Take a low heal. Another eclair, another chocolate bar. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good. We have way more SP recovers than we need. We have one stat cure. So we should be good. Truthfully though, I don't think this fight is as hard as the other one. It's more of just a raw stat check. 
But I think between um, Imperimeter's ludicrously broken in, Perk's attack power, which is still better than Laharl's by like 300, by the way, uh, we should be more than fine at this point. We also have some junk items we could sell if we really need to. So technically, I could downgrade Laharl just to keep the Masamune. Or I could remove the Love Belts if I really want to keep them on the next playthrough. But honestly, I think right now... The only thing I might unequip is... Maybe the Statistician Belt? Slightly weaken Laharl. Give it to Rogue Nine. Could be relevant. Everything else I could just purchase better if I really need it again. As long as our Super Sword is not on the Harl, that's all I have to say. As long as it's not on him, I think we're good. Otherwise, it'd be so sad. The game would actually just this be over. This is the Seraph's personal chamber. We call it the Sacred Altar. Is everybody ready? Ready. Anytime. I'm all set. <gasps> I can feel my heart pounding. Beep, beep, flip, beep. System functioning at 100%. Thursday is good to go. Come on, let's do it! Okay, here we go! Master Lamington! Flan? M -M Master Lamington! She is a traitor who has come to take over Celestia with her abominable troops of demons! Stop lying! You are the one who's planning to take over the entire universe. S -s Silence, demon! Hmm. So you are a demon? Not just an ordinary demon. I am Laharl, King of the Netherworld! You are the son of Krychevskoy. I see. Flan. Yes, Master Lamington. Is it true that you are here with these demons to take over Celestia? No, I have come to ask you a question. A question, you say? Yes. A few days ago, the Earth Defense Force led an invasion on the Netherworld. It was fortunate that it failed, but I discovered that angels were involved in the invasion. Dot, dot, dot. Please answer me! Were you behind this, Master Lamington? Only half our trooper demons, the other half are humans and a robot. True. We're being outnumbered. Master Lamington, do not be fooled by her words. All that she has said is a lie. Angels using humans to invade the netherworld? <laughs> that is simply absurd. It's not a lie. I saw it with my own eyes. Without a doubt, they were angels. You are mistaken. The demons must have tricked you. While it is true that demons are aggressive by nature, they do not hurt others without reason. My friends here have convinced me of that. <laughs> this is quite unusual, Flan. You, a Celestial, refer to demons as friends and defend their behavior. Master Lamington, at your request, I went to the Netherworld, and there I met Laharl and my other friends. Demons may not be perceived as good. As a matter of fact, they are rather selfish, rude, and cynical. Hey! But... But I have also discovered that they have love and kindness in their hearts. Master Lamington, I remember you telling me that there is no such thing as absolute evil, that even demons have love. As I spent time in the Netherworld, I came to realize that you were right. It also occurred to me that perhaps we Celestians have judged demons too harshly. Yep, especially this Volcanus guy. How dare you! Flan, I see that you have learned many things in the Netherworld. Master Lamington! You are not mistaken. What? It is true that Celestians have been blinded by prejudice, refusing to try and understand our cultural differences. They instead chose to label demons as evil. They convinced themselves that they were the avatars of absolute good and branded demons as absolute evil. 
Volcanus' choices have been the result of such misconceptions and his concern for the future. I should have been more mindful of these things. Master Lamington! Did you think that I was oblivious to your actions, Volcanus? I am well informed of all that has transpired. Uh-oh. <laughs> right, chat? Damn, he got flowered, chat. GG. Yes? You have helped save the netherworld. You're pretty much screwed. ...of the Earth Defense Force and thwarted the plans of Archangel Volcanus. I was gonna say, chat, he didn't even turn into a mill lily. He's so done. However, the fact remains that you have harmed other angels. You are to be punished for your sin. I understand. I am prepared to accept any punishment. Wait a minute! Why does Flan have to be punished? It makes no sense whatsoever. She only did what was right. Don't you dare lay a finger on her. You'll be sorry if you do. It's all right. I knew there would be consequences for my actions. Flan! Master Lamington, I have one final request. I beg of you to forgive my companions. It is I who drew them into all of this. This is crazy, Flan. Why should you be punished? You've done nothing wrong. Very well. I shall pardon their sins. I am grateful for your kindness. Flan! Thank you, Laharl. I knew I could trust in you. You've taught me the demons do have love in their hearts. This doesn't make any sense to me. We're done here, aren't we? Let's go back to the netherworld. Laharl, I want you to have this pendant. Th stop! That's... Laharl! Hurry up and take it. My hand is burning. Oh, okay. The pendant is telling me that my heart is wicked. That's good to know. That's the pendant we had to look for. He wanted to burn me again? Ah! Huh? Hey, something's wrong. It's not doing anything. Oh no, Chad, it's not doing anything. <laughs> Just as I thought. What do you mean? The wickedness has faded from your heart, Laharl. That's why the pendant isn't punishing you anymore. What? That can't possibly be right! I'm a demon! The Overlord! I'm so glad. I can say goodbye without any worries now. Goodbye? Flan? Hey! Where do you think you're going? Goodbye, Laharl. I hope you become a magnificent Overlord. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for everything. Wait! Flan! Goodbye! Flan! Why? Dot 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 chat. The existence of Angel Trainee Flan has been erased along with her sins. I could just imagine people that had played to this point in the game and were using her as their main character, how mad and sad they are right now. Fortunately, she's only level 8 in our playthrough. Flan! Hey, Flan! What are you doing? I didn't say you could do this! You're going to abandon me, like my mother did! I didn't give you permission. Is this what you call love? If it is, then I'll never believe in love. Ever! Prince! King Laharl, do you despise me? Despise you? Of course I do, you bastard! Kill you. I'll kill you! Ah! This is my punishment. I willingly accept it. There we go, chat. The final stage. 
Oh boy. Um. He actually has a testament on him, which is kind of funny. I don't really care about stealing it, to be honest. We're not at a level that we could realistically do that. Plus, I already have one. Hmm. Something like this. I want to put some distance between me and the enemies. Anger alert. Yeah, there we go. That's nice we got Kirk up to basically 88. So I'm definitely under level compared to solo play with just Laharl, which makes sense. So obviously I didn't do the super XP on one character in this playthrough. But on the plus side, our magic mastery is getting real good. Hmm. So much free damage. Hey, that hurt a little. Lost a mage, but could be worse. Oh, we finally learned Wind Cutter. Nice, rank six. Let's hide our mages away. This is surprisingly tanky. I am surprised you did not die from that, but let's go ahead and Braveheart them again. I'm gonna block off passageway to them. Oh. Die. I see Master Die. Lamington has come to fight me. Die. One less threat. Lure some attacks over here. Know if I could be hit from there? We'll find out, I guess. Target height problem. It's unfortunate. And turn. Die. Die. Unfortunate. Oh, that didn't kill. That is so sad. I have to use Chris here to try to get the kill. Just one space shy, seriously? Hmm. Well, I think what we need to do then Operation Retreat Down the Stairs. Die. Pray. Die. Okay, Rogue Nine actually survived that. Thank you, Rogue Nine. We're down an attacker, which is kind of annoying. And kill with this, though. Okay. Chris can definitely kill that if I want him to. Did Parameter get the mana he needs? Almost. Okay. Now we just need to stall. Very, very interesting. Alright, we 
reapplying some of the buff we lost earlier. Die. You know what? That's probably best case scenario yet again. Oh, Chris is gonna use Giga Ice? Hell yeah. Ice into Giga Ice, maybe? And just to make sure that they take damage, I think I do a spread fire attack here. And I think I just need to start doing damage to him. Actually, before I do that. Let's get a couple of buffs. Let's get one... Get one magic up here. I think this will... We have cross with Giga Ice. Strategy is four. Strategy is four. This is gonna be an interesting turn, chat. Didn't get the kill. Man, I was worried about. Well, I think I'm about to lose a whole bunch of people here. Damn. Let's hoping that would be enough. Well, here's hoping the mages survive, or this might be GG. I don't have another person to throw. That's so unfortunate. Die. You know what? That was fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know what? Of all the things that they could have done just then, I'll take that. And this time I really need to make sure Chris gets this kill. I think what I'm gonna do is magic boost. Oh, I just realized I can't do that. I have to magic boost, which is one character. Magic boost into Giga Ice into or fire I think I have to I'm gonna do enough damage, chat. I got bad news. I took one more death than I wanted to. I'm gonna throw off my timing. But he has to lift or we die. I just go for damage here in general. See, I'm like just not quite doing enough. Well, I'm gonna squeeze out whatever damage I can, I guess. I'm sad the Harl died when he died because I needed him just to chip out the boss a little more. Hmm, might have to reset. I'm not seeing how I'm gonna kill him in time. Uh, uh, especially with him being injured. Due to uh, missing out buffs. That sucks. Yeah, if I just took one less death from Laharl, I would have been able to kill the other person. 
sooner, and I would have been able to do, like, another 5k. Would have been pretty huge. Well, I guess I could just hope I don't die to his attacks. <laughs> That's always a fun strat. Bosses between me and survival. I don't think it matters what I do with the parameter now. In which case. Yeah, because it's like, without that extra person, that means I get one less turn at Bravehearts. It's so annoying. We're gonna get so close and then die. This is so sad. Unless he normal attacks me. Can I have a chance? He's showing mercy. You know what, Chad? You know, if he just wants a normal attack me, listen, we could get there eventually. I have a lot of healing. Oh, just don't die from counterattacks. <laughs> right, chat? We might be able to outheal this as long as he doesn't do anything too crazy. I have six heals left. Don't do a super attack and we're fine. You know what? That wasn't... It could be worse. Come on, just normals. Seriously. Uh, we're running out of healing because he's no longer normal attacking. Uh, this is getting annoying. Got to do something to damage him. Is he only using judgment now? Yeah, I might die. I don't have enough healing. So sad. I wonder why he's decided to just go oops all judgment on me. Because of his health total. Damn. So yeah, we're only getting two attacks in at most. I'm like one healing item shy. So sad. Yeah, I don't have any other healing, right? No. Uh, GG, I'm quitting. There's no point. I can't kill him. <laughs> so him killing Laharl messed me up. I need Laharl to not die. I'm gonna do the same thing again. I had the right idea, I just took way too much with Laharl. Which was weird, because I thought I put uh, Kirk further forward. This was the right call. It was just more getting hit by the other attack was bad. So if I can avoid that, I should win. I don't think I need to do anything differently other than just ensure Laharl doesn't die. Yeah, see, this time both of them didn't come to me. Only one did. Hmm. That also helps significantly. So I can weaken them with fire, so I can hit them with Imperameter. then slap this person from the distance. Keep the Braveheart bonus going. I think it's safe to have Chris start magic buffing the team. So now I didn't lose my Braveheart and 
My spell damage is higher than it was before. Die. So she might have killed a mage there, which is fine. So let me put this character here. Maybe that was the problem last time. I think I made Laharl do this. If this doesn't kill, I'm just gonna hit with Giga Fire here. Oh, I don't even need to do that. Let's stay as safe as possible with uh, our attacks here. Unneeded. We're gonna briefly line them up just so I can get some... Oh, that... Even though I didn't cast the spell, it didn't cancel my turn. That sucks. Later, Disgaea has fixed that. Or I think also Disgaea complete. Alright, so so far this is fine. I have three targets. I can ensure that we have more self-buff here. We're already doing a lot better than before because of the sheer fact that Harl's alive. He interestingly went in front of his other companions. Hmm. Let's Overlord's Wrath into... throw somebody here. I think I need Rogue out here, like, immediately. Just to solve this. There we go. <laughs> so now I can do whatever I want. So I don't care if these characters hit her. I think that was the other thing. I could lure him all the way down the stairs if I need to. But I think the result is still ultimately the same. Still need to ice. Let me do this into this, which is already a big damage difference in how much we're hitting him. And then on top of that, I want to smack this idiot for damage. Much better. Much better, chat. Like, okay. We could reasonably kill him in five turns instead of ten, which is what we were averaging before. We're going to have these characters move forward. Oh, we just need... Ooh. I can hold him for a few turns here, so let's do that. If the other ones interfere, I can kill them with Laharl, which is something I couldn't do Die. before. Die. Die. Them hitting the mages there really sucks. That also might have screwed me up. Man, I like look how far out of range I am, Chad. I'm like, I don't know. I was not this expecting to get there. Power. Damn, that messed me up again. Final fight is very annoying. How vexing. Did that seriously not kill either? Right, let's do this to mitigate damage. That is so annoying that they reach my mages Die. from there. Die. This is fine. Okay, that's one less one I have to kill, and Kirk leveled, which is huge. So we're still in it, it's just gonna be difficult again, because I lost another character. Like, one death is fine, two deaths is a bit much.
I'm the character with more health. I, I, unironically, I might actually just straight up use Curtis here. Just to lure an attack away from our other targets. How did that not kill? No, Braveheart. Die. That's fine. That's not fine. No, you put my attacker to sleep. No. Come on. Seriously? Man. I was like, I, I'm like, I can do this. And I was like, no, the only thing, that was the only thing that would stop me from doing a comeback. Man, I'm going to waste turns doing this now. That really sucks. I'm going to spread them apart. Let's make him chase me. How annoying. At least, it, oh, he's not hitting me anymore. Wait a minute. I might be able to abuse this. Hold on. We might have a strategy here. If he can only target one at a time, I think I have this one then. I just can't get greedy. So I, I could I could afford to stay like over here. Let's see where we go. Yeah, like this is fine. I wish I could see what kind of area of effect judgment was. But in theory I could do something like this. Walk away. So now he's stuck doing those attacks. Let's do Hurricane Slash. Let's also do Hurricane Slash. Man, he did the thing again where he killed like more than I expected. That AoE is so annoying. Alright, so at least now I could constantly do damage. I still might have this. Because I'm always doing damage now, which is a big difference than before. Ooh! That's all it targets? Interesting. We're just like so close. Huh. See, now he's not even normal attacking anymore. This is so sad. Almost back to where we were before. Oh, normal attack. There we go. Which is better than judgment, because at least I do damage. Now I'm paralyzed, which is fine. So I'm low on healing again. Might be doable. As I said before, if I just didn't get tagged by like the long range attack, I would have been fine. None of us can retreat. I think we just gotta keep going in. So close. I was like, if I counterattack there, I would have died. Only we didn't. Alright, now it's going down to the wire. It's so close. Oh my gosh. Just die already. <laughs> just die <laughs> right chat like get out of here oh my gosh that's how we end the fight nobody left get bonus xp here you go kirk playthrough is over gg jerk now we have a lot of money for next time if i need to rebuy a belt we should be fine Yeah, those AoEs are ridiculous. Dot 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 indeed. What's the matter, Prince? 
I've had enough of this. Huh? It's not like this will bring her back. Besides, if that love freak was here, she would have stopped me anyway. Prince? What is this? A tear? Hmm. I never knew I could shed tears. Etna. Yes? I leave the rest to you. B Prince! What are you planning on doing? You're not planning on... I think I finally understand why my mother sacrificed herself to save me. You want to exchange your life for hers? Is that even possible? Who knows? But this is the least I can do for her now. Harley! Farewell. Prince! Ah! Wait! What do you want now? As you can see, I'm busy. We'll call this your victory, so don't bother me. I am glad that you have come to terms with your mother's decision. You should thank your companions for teaching you the importance of love and friendship. What? Do not throw away the life that your mother gave you. Here, look. Indeed you were. You are no longer an angel trainee. Now you are a fallen angel. What the? Flan! Your wings! I'm... I'm... <laughs> that is the punishment she received from Seraph Lannington. What? Then he wasn't gonna kill her in the first place? Of course not. She is a very important person, not only to Celestia, but to the Netherworld as well. What is that supposed to mean? Celestia and the Netherworld were not always in opposition. Seraph Lamington and another person of influence dreamed of reuniting them. Okay, we did corrupt her indeed, chat. They sent Angel Trainee Flan to the Netherworld to begin bridging the gap between the two worlds. Laharl, Flan, you are the knot that binds the two worlds together. We're the knot? <laughs> I am sure that one day you will understand. Tell me, who are you really? Why do you know so much? <laughs> Have I not told you before? I am the Dark Adonis. My presence here is merely coincidence. Become a magnificent overlord, Laharl. Huh. You don't have to tell me. I'll build a legacy even greater than my old man's. <laughs> Farewell. Damn, I even steam achieved an steam achievement on that one. So did we not realize who that was or credits earned, I guess. I'm sure Chad has pieced it together, but that is indeed, uh... King Krachevskoy. <laughs> he did it, Chad. Mid boss was dad boss, mid dad, exactly. <laughs> oh, man, that final, that final area... Definitely much harder with lower level people. <laughs> I will definitely say, wow. 
What a difference 40 levels makes. Or more like 20, but even then. All that development for Lara only to throw it away in later games. Kinda not wrong. <laughs> there we go, champ. We got the true ending, which involved killing zero allies. <laughs> Otherwise, that cutscene is very, very different. Which we'll see at some point in the playthrough. Uh, I've never played, uh, dis whatever, not Disgaea 2, but the, the second game to this one. I don't know what it's called. I don't own it. I'm aware of its existence. That's about it. I don't know. It depends on what systems it's available for. As I noticed it's not on Steam or PC in general. Which is kind of a problem. So yeah, we completed a harder ending because I split my levels towards the end. This is not normally something I'd like to do, but in preparation for the next stage, quote unquote, I couldn't just have one character at level 20 and one at level 4. It's just not going to work. So I do not regret getting those 80 levels for the next thing. Sleep well on Parameter. We're just going to confirm that I got the unlock. I'm assuming I did because I picked up the testament. Sadly, I don't think I'm going to get a really big chance to kind of play ahead like I did the other days. So, this, I expect the next phase to be very rough, just because, one, I've never played it before. Two, I'm not going to get a preview of it, so this will be interesting. We might do some sneak peeks without story, just so I can see what the map is. And then we'll listen to the story. Chat. Yeah, I will say it was nice to finally learn that square plus R1 equals R2. <laughs> As someone who has never owned a PSP, not in like a million years would I ever think that's R2 for other systems. But it helped a little bit. Well, it's not PS3 only. The PS2 was like that. Oh, oh, unless you mean DD2, then yeah, I'm not sure. Is that that has not been re-released at all, to my knowledge? So unless I dig up the store, I don't think it's gonna happen. Achieved. 
Perseverance. We got there in the end. This should unlock something new for us. We're gonna make sure we save in a new slot. Oh, it just immediately lets me choose. That's really unfortunate. It's not letting me save in between. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't like that. I will hit Etna Story. But this is going to be a very annoyingly long video. Okay, as long as you can let me save here, this is fine. Okay, then we're good. Okay, good. We'll we'll deal with that next time, because I was like, you better you better not make me go immediately into the cutscenes. It did not make me immediately go into the cutscene. That's good. So took like probably about 15 hours, probably 40 minutes with some of the stupid resets we had to do with the bills. So given that we did no cutscene skips, more or less, I think I'm happy with that. The most we did in quote-unquote repeating something was just getting a promotion, which is just kind of an annoying mechanic of the game to begin with. So it is what it is there with transmogrification. Um, but otherwise, yeah, didn't go level up anything in item world, didn't need it. Didn't need to repeat any stages. We didn't even kill our allies for XP. I think that's fine. <laughs> as you can see, the main character is no longer Laharl. It will be Etna, as we see Super Dimensional Etna next time. And no, we will not be playing Etna in Et Etna's mode. <laughs> it's, just, it's not happening. She is just too hilariously low level. I did learn, though, before I started the stream, apparently there is a button sequence you can input on the different versions of the game that will let you start in Etna mode, but without having gone through like a new game plus. So you could basically do it from level one and it's kind of scaled to be from level one. Whereas this one, every enemy will be scaled based off of where we just were. So that's gonna be a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. But we're gonna try our best to go through it and see what it's like. So a fun time to wait, I suppose, next time. So let's chat. I think at least we have some characters ready for it. We have Imperimeter ready to become a Star Mage and potentially go into superpower modes. Um, if we could get one more staff, we technically have two really good staff users because Chris is also decently high level and he has multiple magics learned. We have Kirk's character for big damage. And Rogue Nine is actually fairly tanky. So he can he can actually decoy for more than a couple hits. Because we saw that actually come up uh in the, towards the end of the run. Ideally we'll rank up Rogue Nine into something new. If we can save up for a fist or happen to get a good fist weapon on our way up the ladder. So I'm not in a rush to immediately buy a new fist, as we might see from the scaling of the map ranks that eventually we get up to something good. The way I view it is, is, remember, every map basically goes, or every item goes up to rank 40, with the final two ranks basically being limited to item world only. So if we start seeing, like, rank 32, rank 33 maps, that means we're getting rank 33 weapons. So to give you an idea, let me give you a solid comparison. One second. Our current weapon... The very broken thing that we got that basically carried the entire remainder of the run was a rank scrolling through, drum roll. I don't know why it opened spear. That was awkward. I definitely hit sword. That was a... The Diabolic Sword is a rank 31 sword. So just think, chat. We could, in theory, see up to rank 38 <laughs> if the story mode goes up that high, where the base weapon damage is 1200 ATP compared to our current 600 or so. So in theory, we could still end up with some pretty crazy weapons. So it could be worth trying to level the fist proficiency more with Rogue Nine, because Rogue Nine got a lot of counterattacks in and actually did learn Triple Strike without needing to do anything special. So if any map has invincibility at all, we will probably abuse that for some proficiencies before climbing. If they don't have it anymore, that's fine. 
I don't know if I, like, need need it. We've been leveling our mages pretty well. Just the downside is that some of the enemy ranges are completely absurd. I mean, we got hit from, like, what, eight spaces away in a multi-area? Like, there's, there's not much I could really do to combat that other than one shot. So, we'll see where it goes. And keep in mind, too, we could technically still earn another testament, and if we decide to see the bonus content after we're done with the next story, we could show off the level 9999 monsters and absolutely stomp all the bonus content in the game. So, we'll see how chat feels about it. But at least for this week, we'll save that for Thursday. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. What a long video, but hey, we finished the main story of Disgaea 1. We have a lot more endings to see. I'll see if I can set up the bad ending where we just do the final boss again, but this time with uh, ally deaths. And uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes, I suppose. There's a lot of other endings, including uh, we saw alluded to when we talked to the gargoyle that he said we could go conquer Earth. There's technically bonus maps we could have done before beating the game, but those also end the game, which is awkward. <laughs> so some of those endings might make more sense to just kind of circle back into later, to be honest. So we might have a bonus session of Disgaea just to go through the true weird alternate endings involving uh, basically stomping the game from existence. So we'll see. But anyway, chat, we have at least two or three more sessions solid of this game to go. And we might have a bonus session next week just to kind of wrap things up. And that's where I'm looking to target with it. But for now, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching and see you in Etna mode.